good day wherever you are in the world and welcome along to the Clask World Championships 2023! Yes! Lovely, well done. There we go. That's exactly what I asked for. Uh, welcome along. We are live from Helsinki in Finland. My name is Lauren Layfield and I'm very, very excited to be here. What an evening we've got planned for you. So this morning, 23 of the world's best players went head to head and the remaining 16 are with us right now, ready to battle it out. They've got reflexes like cats. They have got wrists of steel, and we are so looking forward to seeing what they do today. But first, to give us a little idea of what we can expect, I'm going to hand over to our lovely commentators. Hello, commentators. Hello, hello. Well, uh, welcome back to the 2023 return of the Class World Championship, everyone. Here in the beautiful, or should I say, Kaunis, Helsinki, Finland. That's Finnish for those of you who don't know for beautiful. So cultured. <laughs> That's right. And it's been four long years since we last saw the likes of this event, but uh, it's going to take more than a pandemic, Brexit, or supply chain issues to keep us from force feeding, piping hot class action straight down your dome piece through your pretty little peepers. We even attempted to see the Titanic again. We've seen a lot. We did, we did, and, and, and you know, that that's, uh, didn't go as well as planned. You know what? I think we might be able to call it successful, though. We did see it. Yep. <laughs> as always, uh, I'm your inaugural champ and lead class commentator with the voice that gets the people moist, Kev just Kev. <laughs> Joining me today in the booth is the lovely Danny Standring, content creator and also participant in the Class Creator Cup. Notice he said participant because I did not win the Creator Cup. Um, I may have felt a little robbed from that one, but... Nevertheless, it's about the friends you make and the experience along the way. And so much so that I get to be back here in Helsinki again. I love it to co-host with Kevin. I believe in equal opportunity and the leading here. Sure. And I'm really excited to be here. And I'm excited to commentate for you all. So I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Well, per use, uh, we all the contestants and, the, and their plus ones got here last night in the beautiful Helsinki, and we took a trip to Sauna Island to kick things off with a beautiful dinner and some class community nudity at another Sauna Island. And we can't talk about much because what happens in Sauna Island stays on Sauna Island. I, I think like we brought a little bit of it back with us, too. We definitely did, and I feel like Sauna Island needs to be like a new reality show. And the, I don't know who would watch, but... I would absolutely watch. So, Sauna Island, next up, wait for it. <laughs> well, uh, speaking of today, then, we kick things off with the group stages. And so we had the group play today, and we had some great action today that was happening. Danny, why don't you take a moment and just comment about what was the vibe, what was the feel like at, the, at those stages today? The vibe was very competitive, but what's nice with all these players is there's a lot of camaraderie, and I feel like everyone recognizes how great everyone else is. So, like, while everyone was focused on gameplay there was a lot of handshakes a lot of like nice plays being said back and forth you know even though it was competitive it was lighthearted. and at the end of the at the end of the group round I feel like everyone you know walked away fairly happy and positive about the the group round yeah yeah we also had some new additions to the group speaking of the group we had uh, eight new countries nine, nine new countries, countries. Participating this year, which would be Hungary, Porch, hung, Hungary. I am. Are you hungry? I am a little hungry. You're still yes. hungry? Still, How? We just ate. ate. I know, but it, you know, you can never. You at least I'm not food. angry. No, that'd be bad. So we had Hungary, Portugal, Latvia, Japan, Lithuania, Estonia, Switzerland, and Spain, along with Chile, making their first time guest appearance. Let's give it up for yeah. those new countries. Thank you, guys. <laughs> lovely to have, lovely to have you here. Uh, then that this is uh, we now have five. five. Continents, continents. represented. With, so then that leaves uh, Africa and Antarctica. Do people even live in Antarctica? Of course they do. We'll send them some class boards. Get them over here. Let's go. Polar bears. We'll, we'll have the polar bears play in class in no time. <laughs> So we got uh, we had the knockout stages in the or not the knockout stages but we had the group stages and I want to give a quick mention to some of those individuals in particular because they played some great class even though they didn't make it into the top sixteen we also had some young competitors this Very year. Very young competitors. Yeah, we had uh, a seventeen year old, mm -hmm. another seventeen year old, and the youngest competitor. Uh, Naglas. Yep. Naglas, yes. Only 12. Only 12 years old. I thought it was 13, but I guess he, he's 12 from Spain. Mm -hmm. So he's putting Spain on the map. And I think he's going to be a force to be reckoned with in the future. Lithuania. 
from Lithuania. Oh, what? Lithuania, I'm sorry. <laughs> Good. Uh, he came in, and he came in hot. His first round went against our reigning world champion, Tomek, and he didn't skip a beat, and you don't have to say I was, like, really proud to see him sit directly across from him and just bang out his first game. That's, like, that's a big one. So I think he deserves a round of applause for that one. Yeah, you know... What a what a what a what a welcoming into this uh, class community. Because I didn't see him doing any warm up games or anything, and then he just comes in, sits down, plays his first game, and he's got to play against Tomek. It's like eyes on the prize, man. Whoa, eyes welcome, on the prize. Welcome to the show, kids. Yes. Yeah, and there was also three other competitors that went undefeated in the group round. We had Eric from the U.S. We had USA, USA. How many times are you going to do that this time? Every time we got four hours. Up. How many USA <laughs> chants are we going to get? We should, we should, they should take bets. You guys should take bets. We'll see. Uh, we'll, how many times does Kev say USA? I found this on the oh, web. Siri also wanted to say that too. <laughs> uh, we have uh, people from Italy and yeah, and Italy then, in the house. And then Kohei from Japan. So three went undefeated in our group round. And this is uh, the, Kohei representing Japan. This is their first appearance, so yep. he's really putting them on the stage with this one. He most certainly is. So we got. Uh, so that, uh, g getting back to the group stages, we saw some great play from Borg from Norway. It put on an amazing show. Mm -hmm. He just when I was watching him play, I just didn't see like he couldn't find his groove today. I felt, but he was still putting on a great show. Great show, great play. He also competes in board games, and a yeah. lot of folks here also keep eating board games, and that really just kind of melts my heart a little bit. I love those board games. Uh, Fabian Mendez making a showing for uh, Chile today, also putting on a great show. Uh, I saw him have some great points, a couple 5-5, five five, as the Austrians say, the favorite situation. And it's always great to see those games go go the distance. and Right to the end. Right to the end, put, putting in good play, quality class matches. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, not all of them could be here, so we are with our, with our top 16. And I just got to ask Danny. Um, who who do you think are your top five that are going to make uh, it to the... Are we really doing this? We're going to say it out loud? Who our top five is? I want to keep mine a secret. Okay. All right. We can, I don't keep, want, them, we can keep them secrets. I'm going to keep the prediction a secret. Okay. Yeah. All right. I, I'm down with that. With, that's new for me. The refs today. Well, uh, refs today. Okay, refs today. Just want to mention we have Alexander Kopin from Germany. He's our head ref. Let's give him a quick round of applause. And then Sean Flynn from Seattle. And with that, we're going to kick it back over to our lovely host, and shes I think she's got uh, our first contestants ready, yes? I certainly do. And All right. we're going to be very, very excited. Right, shall we move on with this? Is everybody ready? Yeah. For our first game of the afternoon, please welcome to the stage, it's Eric from USA! 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 USA in the house! There is, it's over now. Uh, right, there we go. Eric is in place, ready to play. So he needs an opponent, so please welcome Jason from Australia. <laughs> match of the afternoon. We are exceedingly, exceedingly excited to see how it goes. Wishing you the very best of luck. Please take your seats. So I hope you are well. Everything fine. No problem. Thank you. Like and yeah, now we are playing best of three. Best of three. After a match, you will switch the position. And if you are fine, you can start with the click off. Thank you. 
Jason picking up a biscuit there. Oh. Oh, and another goal Sniped. by Eric. Wow. This is this is a this is a quick start. It, uh, Eric off to a quick lead. Yeah. Oh. Jason table. too aggressive knocks the ball right off the table. So we're gonna come in from the corner. Yep. And this is so these are gonna be best two out of three. Yeah, these games will be best two out of three. Jason from Sydney, Australia. Uh, we got two biscuits still in the middle there. Look at this, it, Eric trying to play it. He's got an angel now. Angel in his class, and Eric dances around the ball, trying to get there, doing his side angles. When I was talking to Eric earlier, he was saying that his, his part of his play is his angle angles. play that we saw again right there. He does he's, have some serious angles. He's really a sniper with precision yep. accuracy with those angles. Stops it with oh, the back. No. Oh, he the psychs class. him out. And that's the first Clask of this year's tournament. Ooh, I'm going to keep track of how many Clasks we have. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. We had, we had class, so one Clask so class far. Counter. The Clask counter. Both players grabbing a biscuit right now. One running around. And oh. there is Jason's first point. Australia gets on the board. Good day, mate. You saw, you're, are you from there? I was had me convinced. You know what? I will say I think Jason has, or I'm, I think Jason has the worst Australian accent <gasps> that I've ever heard. He does, I, except for when he says the word fire. I can, I cannot ask him next time you see. Him, ask him okay. does I say fire and Ooh, see if you can understand he what he's saying. Two on his side. He's gonna clear him. I don't know. Yeah, well, he's got the one on him, and he's playing a really high guard there. Try Ooh, oh, oh, there he goes. He loses one. That's okay as long as it happens in yeah. regular play when you're going for the ball. And he gets another point. Yeah. You, know, you know, Danny, I know that you mentioned earlier, you just really would like to see uh, Jason go the distance because he's got such a great demeanor about he him. He does, and he's just so kind and wholesome, and he's one of those people that ask questions, and you can tell he genuinely wants to hear the response. Uh, another um, point for Eric there. He also designs board games. Oh, that's right, and you know what? He did give me one. He yeah. gave me, it's like a Oodles of Noodles. It's, yeah. like, it's like a noodle dice rolling Yeah, so game. it's a dice rolling game where you're competing eating noodles. That's very good. So we got a game oh, point, oh, and there yes. it is. That the first game is going to go to Eric from the USA. And they are going to switch sides now. That's 5 1. They're going to switch sides, give each other a nice slap on the back. Jason wearing uh, a, a very bright red track pants there. I wish he was wearing the matching top because it definitely it, uh, it's yeah. a vibe. I don't know if that's an Australian thing. Or maybe he's just sweating, so he took it off. <laughs> <laughs> that also could be. <laughs> oh. There's the first plane, first blood going to Jason Tam out of Australia. Oh. Both players really doing a great job of, of directing the biscuits. Yep. With it, they both have angels. Now, Eric with two, two angels. Some people like that, some people don't. A lot of guys I've seen take, and put the, take them out of their class because they use the biscuits so well that they want to get them out and put them on the offensive. Obviously, Eric doesn't care, and he's going to take a point with that snipe. Wow. Oh, look at that. I was confused. I was watching the biscuit on Jason's side. I bet you Eric was too, and he snuck one in there. Almost snuck one on Jason out the serve. And now Eric with one biscuit on him. We got uh, Jason with one. The angel save there, if you saw it. Oh, and he picked it up. Picked it up. But now what's he going to do with that? He's going to try and play it, and he picks it up on himself. Ooh, that's always a tough one because... So, you know, I was playing on these boards, mm -hmm. and, and I was usually always one to play the biscuit game, but I noticed with these new sexy biscuits, they're just a lot harder to hit. They're harder and to hit. they'll stick to you when you go to play them. Like, there's one right there. It was Ooh. the one on the board, too, so played it safe. Oh, yeah, yeah that's, that's a smart move. They just pick it up so just that it doesn't. get it out of the way. Oh. There it is uh, with another point from Eric Wilson. Oh, wipe that hand. We've only seen one... There's been one biscuit point so far, yep. and then there's been one class Classic. by Jason Tam. All straight sinks. And everything else has been a, a goal yep. by uh, by both players. Yes. Both players are ready. Jason serves. Picks up a biscuit. There's oh. one off the... Oh, and there's another one. So there's two biscuit points. Ready, ready. Set the biscuits. Right now, Eric Wilson... Avoid. Oh, he picked one up too. He he wanted to take a trip to the kitchen, but then he Ooh, wow. sets up the distraction to just dunks it in, slam one in on Jason. Oh, oh Jason Tam just scored on himself. Wow. Basically, that's rough. That's gonna be it for the Aussie. What a great match. Yeah, really. That was a really quick one. He can now now we can head back with the other players and throw some shrimp on the Barbie.
Both players trying to figure out what to do as he enter the host. <laughs> Congratulations, guys. Well played to you both. I'm going to let you head off. Commiserations and hope all goes well for you. Thank you very much. We'll see you a little bit later on. Give it up, everybody, for our players. <laughs> Thank you, Jason, everybody. Go for it. All right, that is our first game down and done and on to the very next because we are not wasting any time around here. We're ready to introduce our very next players for you right now. Here at Class World Championships 2023, we are live from Finland. Thank you very much for joining us. So please give a very warm welcome to Luigi from Italy, everybody. then to Adam from Poland. He's coming the right way. <laughs> See Luigi, you could have had that. You could have done all that. Anyway, welcome guys, welcome. We are so excited to see you play. Best of luck. Please take your seats. They're both very tall. <laughs> they are. And also, so is their, so, so is Sean, Flynn. They're, very they're, tall. They're rap. Yeah, this is like the match of the, of the, of the tall boys. All three of them. There's the ceremonial handshake. We're going to kick things off now. Who we got? Right. Where's the ball? No one knows where the ball is. Oh, hey, there it is. The white glove. The white glove. Descends, descends upon the board. <sighs> Man, I tell you what, this uh, this booth didn't take long to get hot. Then neither did it on the board either. Wow. With Adam drawing, uh, Ad Adam Kamik from Poland drawing first blood against Luigi. Oh, man, I know Daniel, uh, the president. Re Rayone? Rayone. Rayone, that's right, okay. Rayone. Oh, there's two biscuits. Oh, he's got all the biscuits on his side. He does. Adam. That's always a dangerous place to be because you, it, it, the ball can take such weird bounces off of him and then it's hard to direct. Ooh. Mm. He's, he's feeling confident. That's yeah, he is. He's not, he does, he's not even really going for it. He just taps it knock, over there. He's going to knock him out? Look at that. He's just no, he's dancing just... around those biscuits. Not, not afraid, but like very tactical. Yeah, no problem with it. I'm impressed. The pace of play in this game is much slower than the last one we just watched. Yeah, they're, they're, it's like they're thinking about it. They're dancing with each yeah, other. Yeah, they're dancing. This is a this is a this is a dance. They're it's, analyzing it's, each other. It, it's a nice waltz. It's quite nice. It's pleasant to or watch. What's, uh, what's, oh, oh, there wow. it is. There it is. Rayone taking one against the pole. Oh, wipe those hands. Adams, I'm gonna have to wipe my face here in a second. <coughs> it's getting hot in this booth. What's all Ooh. this hot air we're blowing out of our mouths? I know. Oh, oh balls off the board. the board. No biscuits have been touched. It's rolling over towards the commentator booth. All right, Sean Flynn with the with the reserve. Yeah. Rayone to serve. Oh, there's a bun biscuit. Oh, oh, playing with those biscuits again. Rayone takes one off, and then Adam now with the, in control of the ball, trying to take it back. Oh, he's got an angel now. Rayon playing a high guard. He's see that that's like two or three times that he, right defensive. off the bat. Yeah, he's he's just blocked it before it's even gotten a chance to get past him with that high guard. Oh, he goes off the side wall, off the back wall, and into the clask. A two wall bank. Gotta love those ones. I also I also like the ones when you when it goes. Three hits, one off the side, one off the back, and then off the back of their striker. Yeah. Yep. Oh my gosh, did you see that? Uh, he avoided it. There it is. And then he got it in the end. That was I saw the magnets want the biscuits wanting the dance right to him and that you could see him jiggle it, but nope. He got it second time around. Oh. I, I, first was warned, I was warned that you do get naked. Your first layer just came off. I couldn't <laughs> I couldn't take it. 
That was close to a class grade there. I, he just went around oh, the lip he, there. He has this whole game has had all the biscuits on his side. He has, yeah, been very uh, non-dominant with the biscuits in that way. Or, but it's also like he doesn't care. No, it, he's he not letting them. Not letting the biscuits bother him. He, he's not bothered by the biscuits. Are you bothered by the biscuits? I have been recently. Like when I've been playing, I I I've played like complete absolute garbage. Lately. Same. I got humbled last night. Humbled. Didn't even score a point. Yeah, I think when I played uh, when I played Japan, I think I got taken 6-0, 6-0. I don't even want to play against Kohei. Like, I, I, you know what? I do, just for the sheer fact that he is one of the happiest people I've ever met in my life. Always like, smiling. I just want to experience it. But Back then he'll smile the whole time while he's just destroying me. <laughs> yeah. Back on the board, we got a long point going here. Uh, we got Rayona with three and Adam from Poland with one. Both of them with a biscuit. Got the biscuit in the middle. Oh, look at that. He strikes the ball and then just strikes the biscuit, strikes off, the biscuit the off the board. That's right. That's a good play. It is. In this situation, just makes it... It's the Give another right down thing to brass you don't have tacks. to worry about. And now it's down to original class, the, where the core point of the game is to get the ball in the hole. Everything mm -hmm. else is just kind of a bonus. We've got to be approaching the almost the two-minute mark. Eight oh, and there. Never house. mind. I just spoke too soon. They're both very strategic in their plays. They, like, not fast and loose whatsoever. No, no. Very methodical, I think, is the word. It's an art. It's an art form. Poland now down by one, chasing Italy. Goes in, the cl goes in and out on Rayone. And now Italy has an angel. Wow. Italy Off sees an opportunity, oh. sees the hole, and just exploits it. Just keeps ramming it down the lane. 4-2. Is this going to go 5-5? Five, five? I don't know. The, the favorite situation, as the Austrians say. Rayone almost loses control there, but regains. You know, I, I always like for a 5-5 five, five match. Well, we got five for Italy right now. This is my favorite when you have a come. It's like the Cinderella story, right? Poland's behind by Poland's behind now by three. So he comes if, they, if he's the comeback three unanswered goals. You'd have to make it four goals to make it for the win. And those are just the most beautiful type of class games. I, I believe because everyone Feel loves an underdog story. Ooh, right here now. Rayona, Italy on the run a little bit. He's got an angel, but also what? Oh, oh no! A loss of control. That's our first loss of control that we've seen. No class that round, though. No class that round. We've only had one class and one loss of control so far this I'm tournament. Keep, I'm keep tabs on that one, too. Keep tabs on that one, yeah. yeah. Where am I? Oh, did I, move, did I move your papers? I think so. How dare you? Hmm. <laughs> Oh, oh, both have biscuits. Wow. Luigi went right forward. We're going to put it right here in the corner. We got class one and then uh, loss of control. One. One. One and one. Okay, back on the board. We biscuits got are everywhere. Biscuits everywhere. Rayon is up one. Italy with all of them on it. Ooh, Ooh, in and out. He's got all the biscuits in the oven right now. He does. It's like a biscuit graveyard over there. And stay there. But an angel save right there. That's it. So some people, like I said, some people like the, having them the in biscuits, there. and other people don't. There's another biscuit or another angel save. Oh, in and angel. out. Whoa! What is it? That 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 biscuit went off the far wall, off the back wall, and then back to Italy's striker. It was round the world shipping right there. No supply chain issues there. Zero. Ooh. Oh, look at that! I don't know if he intentionally just dribbled that ball like yeah, no one's business. I think he, I from, I would like to think he did it on purpose. Oh, he but did. We'll say that. We'll say that. He's but if not, he missed it, and then he came back with just a nice slow swipe, totally psyched out Italy. And oh, oh. Italy with the return ace, not playing there's, around. No, there's not. He, he didn't even touch anything. It was just a straight shot ace. Good one wall bank serve. Italy taking a biscuit to. Oh, wow. wow. Now they're getting feisty. They're getting it, zippy. I feel I, like... Yeah, it feels like it just picked up a little bit. The, the speed picked up a little bit. I feel like the first round they were figuring each other out, and now we're at the point they're like, all right, we are going to strike with authority. 
Yep, and, and it's back to the biscuits being on, on pole inside. Ooh, Ooh, loss of control there. You know, this is untypical for what I've seen earlier from Rayone is that it, normally I see him playing very erratic. And here really? he's, he's he's slowed down, and but he's picking the pace up a little bit, maybe What's, just finding his groove a little see, bit seems more to be now. working for him, though. Yeah. He's, he's putting the points on the board. 3-2 now, Poland down one. Both players are ready. That's a that's a crucial part of the game. You have to verbally announce and ask if the other player is ready, and they have to hear you so that there's no miscommunication to know that you're serving. And with that, uh, we we see another point for Poland. Three they three. Three three. Oh, what class! He tried to save the ball, and instead, in in the process, class. Second class of the night. How many think we're going to see in this whole tournament? I don't think very many. If I were playing, you would see minimum 12. In one game? No, in like the best of three. You, okay. can, you can't even get 12 points in the <laughs> I know, game, that's right? what I was saying. <laughs> I wasn't going to put it past you, though. All right, Italy with one point to go. Poland with some ground to make up. Oh, oh wow. I think he thought that one was going to bounce out. And so now that's uh, that's two rounds where the where, where both have gone 2-0-2-0. Two, 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 oh. oh. Yep. yep. You know, I'm going to... Oh. A massive round of applause for our components there, everybody. Give them a clap. Give them a clap. Loving that. Well done, you guys. Lovely watching you play. Congratulations. Head off, and we're going to get our next players out. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. We'll move stuff along. I'm getting the hang of it now. I'm starting to understand what's going on. I like it. I also really like your pointy stick there, referee. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. I just laughed at it. I wasn't making a joke. Uh, right, let's move on to our next uh, opponents, shall we? On to, please, I give a warm welcome to Filippo from Italy. Uh, right, guys, thank you very much for joining us. We are so excited to see what is going to go down. Please take your seats. All right, well, this is one of the matches that we were talking about where this is Vendel. Mm -hmm. uh, th th this is one of the younger players here. He's got to go against people, which people has not only won uh, world championship, but he's also been in the 2018 or 2018, 2019. Mm -hmm. So two time veteran. Vendel's gonna have gonna have some ground to make. I, I feel uh, a competition on his hands for sure. Is his nickname the Shark? Oh yeah, Ballin. Yeah. Or or, or Beepo Ball in as yeah, he likes I to be called. <laughs> yeah, he plays for the, his class club back in Italy. Is the Sharks? That's amazing. And one of the most active communities in the class world and realm is it, not only Italy as the country, but the but Filippo uh, People's Club, the Sharks, are always putting on events. Ooh, two Vendel, biscuits. Two biscuits going to take the first, give the first blood to Pipo from, from Italy here. Set to serve. Goes in, does, serves without hitting anything. Oh, in and out. He almost gets a point on Pipo the Great there. You know, I, it is funny. I saw uh, we went, all went out for lunch, right? Mm -hmm. And of course, we're coming back. I didn't see any of the Italians out at lunch. And walking back, we walked by a pizzeria, <laughs> and all of the Italians are in the pizzeria. They know it was good. They they're like, this is this is where we belong. This is what mm. we want. I respect the play. I should have gone and gotten pizza with them. Another biscuit point. Speaking of dough, another biscuit point for Pipo. He's just really hammering the dough to Vendel on this one here. Just opening up that bakery, man. This match, I was very excited to watch. Yeah, but oh, another, oh, another biscuit one. point. That's three in wow. a row. 
I don't know if I should be impressed or like terrified of that. Little, little, little shakiness then. I would have to assume that Vendel's a little nervous heading into this match. I mean, mm -hmm. 17 years old, representing your country. For against, the first time, too. For the first time. Yeah, new. so that's a first. So not only that, but a first. So there's, I'm sure that has to have something that plays in. <gasps> Another biscuit point. Four for four. Are we going to see... The, I don't think I've ever seen we need a to six name point. That. Yeah, we would have to name that something. It needs to be the bakery. Or the, bakery. the bakery. Oh, oh, I love it. I love that. If you if you take someone all your points in a match, you take them to the bakery. bakery. Taking them to the bakery. You're taking them out to the cafe. You're gonna pour them a nice espresso and then serve them a loaf of bread. Yeah, that's it. The well. Take them to the cafe. That's more of an Italian thing. Well, okay, I guess well, it, would, yeah, it would be the Italian If he guy. is the first, the inaugural bakery, it's only appropriate at that point. Taking them to the cafe. But I like taking them to the bakery, though. Well, some cafes have a bakery, too. You get a two-for-one deal. Oh, oh, what's he going to do with that biscuit? What's he going to do with it? He's, he's going to serve it? Ooh. He's going to leave the Angels, which, oh, no, he's, oh, he's oh, not. Oh, look at, did no, you see he's that? Not. He brought the ball over to try and get both of it while hitting the ball to get the Angels out because he's obviously noticed that, you know. There's a the, trend. Yeah, that's his, that's his strength right here. He's playing that biscuit game. And he's going to go he's gonna attack do it with the again. Oh. oh, he gives himself a, he, do you see, he shakes his head. He's yeah. like, ah, that's not what I Damn wanted. It. Is he going to do it again, though? We'll see. Sets up. Oh, oh, you see, I, I haven't seen that dude. He's hitting the ball at his own oh, goal, trying wow. to get up, and then he takes one to Vendel. That's going to make it 5 0 in Italy. But I've never seen a player do it. I've seen them take the biscuits out with their striker using the magnet. But not using the ball. That seems risky to me. It's risky biscuits. Risky biscuits. <laughs> it's <is> risky biscuits. <laughs> Danny over here with all the, all the funny terms, taking them to the bakery, risky biscuits. Oh, man. She's a pleasure to have in the booth. I only say these things because I can't remember half the terms sometimes, so whatever comes out of my mouth in the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Balls off the board. Peepo set to serve. He's going to do the... Oh! oh. And and this is uh, this is the first time we're going to see... So that was a failed serve. The serve is going to go to Vendel. It didn't cross the halfway point. Oh! Oh, Vendel almost with a snipe. Picks up a biscuit. Oh, People knows he's got him on the run now because People's been just hammering those biscuits. Look at that. He slings one around the, the, around the back for a slingshot, and he's now he's again trying to play. It. Yep, he is just really concentrating on those biscuits. You see, he puts the he puts the biscuit in motion and then hits the ball, making it hard for the opponent to defend against the ball yeah, when they're he, defending against the biscuits. That's right. And then you don't know what. Oh, did you see that? What an what a precise oh, serve. He so went good. off the back and he and he hit the biscuit on the other side to push it onto the, his opponent's side, but now it's off. See, this is why I don't want to play against these guys because I just I I want to watch them. It is a oh, 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 oh. good for him. I'm happy to see the, the young man at least get something out of here, not go home empty-handed. There's still another match yet, but still. Um, I'm just glad he got one against the against the Build great some people confidence here. Back. Yeah, right, right, get right. Get back into it. Oh. Uh, just in time. He didn't get skunked that one. Nope. That's that's an accomplishment. It's good. Shake it off. Going into round two, you got this. See, this is why I love watching this stuff because I, I get so excited for the players and like the new players, old players, like all of them. Are like I just get so excited to watch them play and I just want to cheer them on. But oh, there can only be one winner. Yes, that's true. Oh. oh, Peepo gets some biscuits, and I think he did that to himself. He was trying to hit play them, and then they stuck to him. He just loves that gluten. Yeah, you know, he's got a... a gluten a, fiend. He probably had that coming. He's been he's been playing so aggressively with the biscuits, it, it was time that they gave that they repaid him a, a little bit. Oh! It was in, it was out, and then it was back in again. He's got it. He's got two. He's off to a 2-0 start now. He's got the look of someone who came to play right now. He does. Oh, and almost another one. You see that it bounced out. He takes another biscuit. People is now going to take those biscuits or that last remaining biscuit right to him. I know he is, but look, this is odd for people. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> there as it soon is. as I said it. Did. <laughs> oh, 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 oh okay. And at this point, if I was Vendel, I would just leave the angel there. I, people would, is I just, wouldn't mess with it. Peepo is just hammering the biscuit. He's already got one, so he would be in danger of, of getting one. Ooh. And he's got to be careful around his clasp there because if he gets too close, Ooh. he can also attract it. So Peepo is now on the board, creeping back at him. 
know what else about biscuits? This room is getting almost hot enough that we can make our own biscuits we in here. We can bake biscuits in here, yeah. Oh, taking a biscuit on the go. <laughs> a biscuit to go. <laughs> I'll just take this one with me, thank you. All right. <clears throat> People back, and then we here we have Vandell with an angel. Oh, oh that he, he people fired one right at Vandell, and then it went off the back and then attached to him. He's got that angel again. If I was him, I would just leave it in there. Oh, very defensive. Vandell's playing very defensive, and he's playing it well. You know, when when I talked to him earlier, he did that. He did say that that he's that's his strategy. And then he gets another one. Vandell, yeah. wow, making making it not giving it to people. He's coming back with a vengeance. He said, "You know what? I'm uh, I'm 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 over it. I'm not just gonna let you walk on me. I'm not your rug, people." But the rug that they are on is quite oh, there's a clask. That's two. Right here. Three. Third class. Three total, yeah. What were you saying about rugs? No, we said you're not gonna walk all over me like a rug. And the rug that they're on looks quite nice. Oh, it is actually that's uh that, there's a funny story behind that rug. Maybe we'll get into that in the in the next round. That'll be a good little good little tidbit. <laughs> so many biscuits and balls on the floor. But, yeah, if you <laughs> from the from the booth you can see it, I can count one, two, three, four biscuits, a ball. Saving him for later. Ooh. All right, another one for Vendel. He's making, he's really making a showing, finding his groove. That's great. I would love to see this get pushed to a game three. three. Is it is it gonna be our first game three? That it would be our first game three. That's I would right. Really, I really enjoy watching these two play. Yeah, Vendel quite methodic. It seems to me also that Pipo has has taken uh, taken a, a bit uh, back from the biscuits, or draw or with. Held back from the biscuits now. Just morphing his play now that I think uh, Vendel's yeah. maybe figured well, it out a bit. And that's the thing that I like about Pipo as a player. You know, oh, what a great Ooh. save by Vendel. And when he did that, he also removed the biscuit from himself. Now he has an opportunity one up on Pipo. Pipo, even with that biscuit on him, he's going to... Ooh, Ooh, off the board. He tried, but he shot it off the board. So now oh, it's going to come down to just ball play. Ball moving around very fast on the, on the field now. The speed and intensity of play just picking up. Oh, no, Vendel took a bad angle. So he's still got the lead, though. Yep, still he got certainly the lead. does. But a, mis a mistake, nonetheless. But he's still he's still showing, playing strong, playing good. Oh, oh people tried oh, to get him. And then that's, you off. do not want to go in the corner uh, when, when you're playing Pipo. When you go in the corner, he's got three different ways in which he can snipe biscuits at you. People tie Italy ties it up 4-4. Four, four. Vendel to serve, has to be ready. It's almost a wow. snipe ace right there from the get-go. Pipo glanced over the edge of his class there. Also, uh, we haven't seen Pipo clask at all yet. And to nope. be honest, I don't, Is that know I, I don't know if I've ever seen him clask. Well, now I'm going to be on the hunt and, for it. I'm going to watch him play all the and, time. I, and I, I will redact that statement and say, I don't know if I've ever seen him play in in this stage of play. You know, like Oh, sure. he put the biscuit on himself. He was trying to put the biscuit on the pedestal. Pipo and, did? Yep. Oh, I, I wasn't watching the board. I was uh, looking at you. Oh, we locked eyes for a moment, but I was too con <laughs> I was too concentrated on the gameplay. My eyes on the prize. All right. All right, so now Vendel within one point of a victory here to push this to a game three. This would be this would be quite an interesting turn of events if that were to happen. Pipo is definitely the favorite here, given his experience at this stage, and Vendel, the newcomer, and the age of Vendel. Let's see if the young gun can pull it off. So, fun fact, we asked all of the players to fill out a player sheet for us to get to know them. And oh, oh five five, five the favorite situation. I, you know, I love people to death. Him and I have a great history, but I gotta say, I'm rooting for Vendel in this one. I'm just excited to see how close this is. Like, just knowing people's gameplay and like where he's coming from. Like, it's nice to see. It's nice to see someone compete against him, especially right. the, the newcomer, the young guy. Yeah, and you know what? Maybe that also plays into it. Maybe people came in expecting that he was just gonna run game on this, and so now, and then once he. Realize, like, oh, hey, there's some opposition oh, here. There it is, though. That what was close. Great, though. What a great showing by Vendel. Honestly, that's uh, that's that's going to be a game that I'm going to remember this. Absolutely. This tournament, Vendel made a great showing. I mean, 
taken a past champion to 5-5 in that second match for the first time for Hungary and at his age. What a great show. He, he has nothing to be ashamed no. of and only proudness to he be He needs had. to be proud of that match. Lovely, guys. Congratulations to yourselves. Commiserations, Hungary. Lovely bit of support from the audience, can I just say as well. Lovely that. Thank you very much, and we'll see you later on. Right, we move on to the very next one. Let's see if biscuits will be a flying in this next one. Please welcome Tomek from Poland. Reigning world champion. There. because it may well have been my fault by announcing the wrong player then. Should we try again? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Right, again again. From Denmark, please welcome Asuka! All right. Thank you! Asuka. She did it right! Yay. Asuka's actually one of the guys I want to see. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm sorry. It's nonchalant right now. You're not Tom Egg. I knew that. <laughs> Please welcome from Germany, it's Ingo! Just as before, we said that there was the youngest contestant ever to play in qualifying class. Ingo is the oldest contestant. Uh, I think he comes in at 63. And might be the most fashionable contestant with those pants. <laughs> hey, you know, um, I, I think when I spoke with him earlier, he said the pants help keep him young. Well, Slay. I need to get some more pants like that then. Slay. slay. <laughs> <laughs> There's the flick off. Woo! Asger wins the flick off. Woo! He's going to set be set to serve. Both players have already shook in hands, said they're ready. What's he going to go with? Circling, circling. Oh, just Ooh, a straight shot. That was very gentle. Yeah, very gentle of Asger. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <gasps> what is that? Did he just lose his striker? I don't know what the ruling is in that. He didn't technically lose control of his striker, think, but he lost control of his magnet. I think, I think it's still point. good. I don't know. So he can't control his striker anymore without the magnet, so he lost control. Oh, I, yeah, I don't know how I would have ruled that, uh, personally. I do uh, believe that was confirmed during <laughs> judges' chat this morning, that if you were to lose the magnet, that it would be a point on the other side, on the opposing side. I, it, oh, uh, I think they, I think they meant if you, if you lose it on, uh, if you lose it off the board in terms of the striker, not the steering magnet. I've never seen someone nope. lose the steering so, magnet before. So Italy actually brought it up when we were chatting this morning, Daniel, and was okay. like, that's actually very common. Oh, two biscuits. All right, the typical Asger move. He, he gets them with the biscuits. Asger has always been known as a biscuit player, but continue what you we were saying. I missed this part. Daniel. So they, they were saying it happens more often than not, and I kind of like gave him the side eye. I was like, I don't think I've ever let go of my, I hold on to that thing for dear life. Like that, he's like, we've seen it happen. Mm. So, uh, okay, as well we then, just did. <laughs> yeah, I would not have expected that from Asgard. Slippery, at this level slippery play. sweaty hands. Ah, uh, that is also true, too. And, you know, we he did go out late last night, so he might be sweating a little bit of it off. Too much karaoke. Too Can much you have too much karaoke? I don't know, but that does make it now 2-1 with Denmark taking the lead over Germany, putting another one in the class to make it 3-1. Asker does describe his play style as the OG biscuit wizard. He, yeah, he definitely is the OG. Like from day one, they've always considered him Asger the biscuit wizard. Oh, 
Did you hear the crowd's reaction there? They they saw it just glance over. It was just maybe slightly too fast. It looked like it was going to stick and stay. Asger goes for a side rail, making it 4-1. Ingo now set to serve. Trying to make a comeback on Asger with the four, currently 4-1. Four just playing with the ball. Slowing the pace of play down. Good. Oh, there he goes. He finds, a, he finds a cheeky, sneaky hole in Asger's defense and exploits it. Oh, just, oh, oh, man, in and out. And then it almost looked like Asger was, had, had a, it was possibly class, but he stayed nope. out. No. Oh, he tried to get cheeky with the biscuits. Oh, man, this is a small booth, and I just burped, and I hope that this Oh, my nice. God. I definitely didn't <laughs> fart, but I did burp. And... I was waiting for that one. I was like, oh, God. I hope no. <laughs> uh, the chocolate that we have is yeah. looking a little uh, moist. Actually, it is. It's, it's looking moist. I'm gonna eat one of those. Actually, is it? Have you tried one? They're no. actually really delicious. It looks wet. <laughs> Thanks, Norway. It is kind of wet. It's not as good as it was earlier because it was harder. It has your burp juices all over it. <laughs> it only adds to the flavor. I don't know about that one. All right, each player with a biscuit. Oh, oh look at that. Ingo gets one. Come back. Germany has quite the support here. Ingo is here, is followed not only by, I, I believe it's his daughter, his mm -hmm. son-in-law, his wife, and I think right. one other individual with them. Many right. flags. Yeah, Many German flags in the audience. Yeah, Ingo actually has this really cool flag that he carries around. Uh, like when we went to Sauna Island the, the other night, uh, it's this big class flag. And so it was also nice to have you just knew where the class guys were. Oh, and you knew where Ingo separated. was. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, oh another one. Well, Asger let yeah, Asger let letting up three points. I man, I was really, really surprised that he lost his strike early. That is so I think he got in his him. head for a moment there, but then it came back and now Ingo is capitalizing. And you know, he I, I think I think that's the thing with Asger, I would have to say I think Asger is <laughs> Asger is a stellar, stellar player. I mean, he's one of the that have made it to every world champion, 2017, mm -hmm. 2018, 2019. And now here, now. And now here, and this, uh, he, I think maybe, yeah, he just gets in his head a little bit too much. Both of them trying to shoot the biscuits and holding on to them. Yep, so they each got one now, so biscuits are out of play unless one of them accidentally lose one while striking the ball to put the biscuits back into play. Ooh, like that, bad. exactly. See, the ball hit Asger. And then it knocked his biscuit oh, off. Oh, and he wants it And out. now he wants it. He says, come here, biscuit. I want there you. It okay, up. there. Jeez. And then... Oh! There we go. Sexy as hell. That oh, was man. a sexy biscuit play. 5-5 five, five favorite and situation. He knows it. Look he at did. Look face. at that smile on his face. I love it. That's he the... knows it. I love that. That's the asker I love. Oh, I'm nervous. How is this going to go? So I and I like what he did there too. So he he lined it up like he it was like a slope. Oh, Ingo almost got him with a snipe. Wow, that was close. Asger just avoid narrowly avoided that one. And almost death by a biscuit. Oh, oh! oh! man, what a game. That was hot. That was that was back and forth. Asger was up, then Ingo was up, then Asger ties, and then it ends. Five, five. That was a great game. Look at Asger and his Both like, of them are just... Mm. Ingo, Ingo obviously a little bit disappointed for that. He fought really hard during that match. Asger just excited to have come back. I think Asger knows he also had to fight for that match. Yeah, I, I honestly think that he thought it was maybe going to be a little easier. Yeah. I, didn't, I don't think that he was expecting that. Out of our out of our oldest contestant, but he's here to fight. He's I, not he's not going away quietly. Oh. Hopefully he doesn't get in his head now. Asger with a straight snipe. Ingo plays the, the serve with a with a biscuit right off the line. Asger Ooh, takes a biscuit. Ooh, and don't then it's that striker. Whoa! Ingo narrowly avoids him, but in the process, almost oh. slings one onto Asger. Asger now back at it in the lead, 2-0. Denmark has a two-point lead over Germany, waiting for the board to reset. That Remember white again, glove. that's Sean Flynn with the white glove on this match. What's wrong with the, the 
Um, Asger asked for it to be examined. Um, maybe it's we can't see it from this angle because we're top down. Maybe it was uh, a, little a little tilted. Pro- a little tilted, so that either had to be switched out or cleaned or something. Technical. Oh, Ooh. Ingo with the wow. biscuit snipe there. Haven't seen much biscuit play oh, from Ingo in up himself. Asger getting confident with the biscuits. And, and I will tell you, Danny, some of these boards, and that's why it's important for the players to switch sides because some of the men just play slightly differently. And I know I played on one board, and every time I was going to get a biscuit off of the middle line, it was always sticking to me. And that usually never happens. Oh, Ingo with a great snipe. Asger wow. goes to grab the ball. So, you know, as I was saying with, with uh, Asger, he's probably used to the other side. Maybe the magnet is just slightly different where it doesn't, it doesn't have maybe as much of a pull or whatnot, but Ooh, so he's in and out with that confident. One. So before we started, we gave the players an option to play with the Teflon bottoms yep. or oh! belts. That's right. And Ingo was the only one not decided on, and potentially wanted to use the felt. And I'm thinking, we didn't see a switch out before this match. So I'm thinking he stuck with the Teflon. So everyone is playing with the, the plastic yes. bottom. He, yeah, he was, he was the only one that mentioned something. And I think by, and I, and I think by rules, he could also switch if he wanted to. But personally, I think at this level of play, because you're moving around so fast, that felt, it creates just a little bit of a gap. And there's a little bit of a mag- magnetic connection there. Ingo just gets one back and now it's 2-3. Denmark leading the way. Asger throws a biscuit with the ball off the serve. Ooh, Ingo, two man, on the side. I have not seen Ingo play the biscuits this much before. He's and it's giving exciting. it right back to him. Both players with a biscuit. Ingo with one on his side just off to the right of his class. He's leaving it there for a little bit. Oh, he's getting rid no, of it. No, he's going to play it and then he gives Asger an angel in response. Sometimes I do like to just watch the board for a little and be quiet just to like listen to like the scribbling of the, the pieces back and forth and the little noises that the board makes. This should make like a little sound machine of just class sounds. <laughs> do like you what, think anyone, like, I feel like super competitive people in class would fall asleep to the sounds of... Oh, I, the Italians would, no doubt. <laughs> Without a doubt, the Italians. I'm surprised the Italians don't already have Oh, it. lost it. Ask her oh, that's a up. loss of control. Yep, so, number two. Are we going to see a round three with this one? I don't know. This It started off this way, this last one, and Asger came back, and now it's Ingo's chance to replay the first one as essentially the, the, the comeback kid. Earlier it was said that Asger is the is the oldest child in, in this tournament. Is that is that how it was? was yes, 100%. <laughs> oh, this sounds gentle. Oh, Just that. It roll right into the hole. Yeah, yeah, he did. It didn't even look like he tried. Maybe no, he just was like, "I'm gonna let that go." And is he is he toying with him? I don't know. Yeah, is he maybe trying to think? Give him a. Uh, oh, oh, there's a the class. class. Number four of the night. Ooh. We should we should we should take some. Let's let's take. How many class do you think we're gonna see in this whole tournament? We're keeping track. Oh. Where, how many class do you think that we're gonna see? In this tournament? <sighs> do you think we're even gonna see any as the competition goes on? I think so, definitely. Yeah, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say that over the course of all of the tournament, all of the games and the matches, we're gonna see twelve. See ah, all best. right, I was gonna say thirteen. Okay, so Danny's got thirteen. Cap's got twelve. Is this like Price is Right style? If we we go over, oh, because but if it goes over, twelve is exactly yours and thirteen is exactly mine. So technically, if it's under twelve, you would win. Yeah. So I should I should have picked one. We know. You could. Well. But then if it goes over 12, then I would win. So the, the logic's it's a gamble flawed. There. The, lo- the logic's flawed. Bob Barker. Bob Barker <laughs> He's rolling in his grave right now. Oh! Oh! There it is. Asker takes out Ingo. Ingo putting up uh, a very fierce competition. Oh, and that's going to be it for our oldest competitor in the field. But, man, he put on a great show. And, again, I... I the best fashion sense. He looks fantastic. He does, the patterns does clash, fantastic. but everyone is clapping for him right now. That's right. Do you know what? That is a lovely ending to a match there. Lovely little warm embrace. Well done, guys, and commiserations as well. Thank you very much for a very entertaining match. Give them a round of applause, everybody. Oh! And now, I announce them before, and I'll announce them again. <laughs> Please welcome to the stage, Tomek from Poland, everybody! Oh! All right, that's Tomek. This is our race.
reigning world champion here with his wife Asha. They have a couple kids back in Poland watching the show as well. Asha is definitely in the biggest support. Do you see the gym? And you wish oh, yes. as well to Martin from Latvia. Latvia making their first appearance. Man, I, I wouldn't want to be in Latvia right now. Tomek is, is just a force to be recognized. That is the cutest stamp for Let there be smoke comments. Guys, we are very excited. Things are really hotting up now. I feel like people are really getting into their flow, so best of luck. Please take your seats. So, hey, how are you feeling well? <laughs> okay, so best of three after the first match you switch position. But fun fact, he doesn't have a corgi. Oh, that's that's like that's like wearing a red handkerchief out your back pocket and not being a blood. Can you even rep that set? Or like parrot heads when they wear the parrot shirt and they're sipping away in Margaritaville, but they don't have parrots. Like or they how... don't know who Jimmy Buffett is. At yeah, least. that's a real travesty. Ugh. Also rolling in his grave. Wow, it has been a rough month. <laughs> yeah. oh, Bob Barker, Jimmy Buffett, some staples in the in the geriatric community. Are we gonna start singing Smash Mouth now? Like. Oh, we could. Did you not hear about that one? No. The lead singer, Smash Mouth. Died? Yeah. Did not hear about that. It was a trifecta that we, we weren't ready for. Oh my gosh. In the midst of that, we missed uh, <laughs> Tomac taking the first drawing, first blood on, uh, oh, I, I missed it, Latvia, right? Yes. Okay. So he's here with his girlfriend, and they actually <laughs> play together. They play all things together. I had lunch with them. And... They play class together, they play board games together, they play video games together, they play disc golf together. I was like, you oh, sound man. like me and my husband, and we would be best friends if we lived near each other. All right, Latvia taking a point against the, the champ. I can't find my player sheet on Tomek. I, I, I don't know how I don't know how and these you have Martine. Oh, okay, yeah. There is, this is the one that wasn't filled out when it was printed out, so I had to I had to fill it out. Oh, so what I was saying before, we had we had all the players fill out the player sheets. Yes. And one of the questions was, who's your biggest rival? And know who was one of the most common? Who's that? Asker. Yeah. And Peepo. Really? Yeah. Wow. Look at this, Tomek running away with the game. We got a 5-1 lead right now, commanding lead. It's going to take a lot for Latvia to come back. I have faith. I have faith. He's playing with those biscuits. He's been only playing for a year. Really? Yep. That's that's uh, that's that's great that to come this far in just a year. I mean, you, you go from not playing at all to in a year you're being on the being flown to Finland on the world stage. Yep. What an accomplishment. Him and his girlfriend both competed competed in Latvia, and she got third. And in I, Latvia. Yep. And I was like, girl, next year I want to see you out here. We need we need more women in the sport. Yeah. You know who's also a really good female. Damn. Good you. Way to go, Martin. Uh, Tomek's wife, which I would hope that she is, because she plays against him all the time. She's one of his. She was like of, free training. Yeah. Asha. Oh, look at that! Two biscuits right off the. Oh, oh man! There's the. Class. That angel stopped it. We got one more class on our tally boards, and that's gonna do it for the first game of this round of three. All right, shake it off. Shake it off, Martins. Okay. Martin lives in Riga. He's an IT. You oh wait! This. I, yeah, you can't yeah. Read your he's, own an I, he's an he's an IT guy and electrician. Man of many trades. Yeah. Oh, he's got lots of biscuits on his side. Please. Oh. oh. But is is his girlfriend that's here with Martin? Yep. She said that IT stands for international terrorist, <laughs> not information uh, technology. Did he get did he did he get stuck with the biscuits? Double biscuits. Double biscuits. And that's going to be one nothing for Poland. Latvia now with a biscuit on, and all the biscuits on their on his side. That's going to he's going to pull away with two zero now. Beautiful serve. Oh, and he gets another biscuit on him. Now he's oh, got an angel Tomek with a biscuit. Right oh, pick up oh. control, but couldn't get it back fast enough in order to keep that ball from going into the class. But no, he's still smiling. Yeah, also, you know, all the players are, are quite smiley bunch, you know? And that's what I was saying. So during the group stage, all I noticed is that everyone was just like 
happy to be having a good time. Yeah. Like, just happy to be playing. I mean, how could you not be happy playing this game? Yeah, you know, and that's what I love about Clask as a game, too. You know, like, I love this community of people. I've made friends through this game that on this trip back over to Helsinki for the World Championship, we stayed. Damn. Martin, not going to go shot. away empty-handed. He says, I'm not going to get skunked on this one. Mm -mm. And now he's getting, now it's 4-1 Poland's lead. But as I was saying, we stayed with some friends that I made through playing Clask while we were in the UK, Denmark, and everything. So this game really brings people together. And yeah, so you're not going to make a million dollars playing Clask, no. but... All these people have had a great time coming to Finland, playing in this game, making some new friends, running around Sauna Island naked together, eating delicious food. Oh, it's about the experiences. Honestly, I've had some of the best life experiences because of this game. Yeah. And it's, it's it's just easy to learn, easy to play. You can take it to any... Oh, look at that! He snakes one in for a, to, to creep up 2-5 on Tomek. You can even get Grandma to play this. You can. Yeah, it's something you And we can. have. Wait, was that a reference to Ingo? Uh, no, I said grandma. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Ingo is a grandpa, though. I wonder if he is. We should we should have asked. Should have asked. When I was talking to him, I, I should have asked. Be the if only he wasn't, grandpa. He would be the only Jeepa. player with a, with a grandkid. I want to call him Papa. <laughs> Ingo Papa Ebel. Right now, Tomac with one biscuit on him, guarding, playing a mid-guard game right above the A of the class there, right in the center. Martin Jeez. doing whatever he can do to scramble and try and get a goal back against the pole. Putting up one hell of a fight, too. He is. He's not He's not going down easy. It's only one point away, and he is not giving it no, to him. No, he is not. Oh, oh there it is. is. We still haven't had a round three. We still haven't had a round three. Now, this is, this is the first round... Of Guys, congratulations. Okay. That was, I thought maybe you weren't being sportsman-like, and then you came running back, so it was all good. Well done for a fantastic game. We'll see you a little bit later on. Thanks very much, and we'll move on. Give him a round of applause. We'll move on to our next match. We are speeding through these rounds. So please give a massive welcome from Estonia. It's another Martin, but spelled differently. Martin, everybody! <laughs> Jack is, uh, I believe, his middle name or, or nickname, and he, or, and he goes by The, the Rat. rat. I, I wanted to get with him and ask him about that. I want to know where that comes from. It's it's so mysterious. And it's so serious, I feel. Like, I, I was going, I was reading through, like, his player profile, and he references The Rat, like, a lot in, like, his gameplay, because, like, rats adapt and evolve quickly. Really? Yeah. Which I had no idea. I have no problem with rats. I don't have rats. Ooh, first point, double biscuits. And that's going to and that's going to Estonia. Mm-hmm. Martin. This should be this should be a pretty close Even. match. Yeah, they they uh, they were seated quite evenly. So as these uh, as these other matches go on, th these are more of the you know how seating works. First place always plays last place out of the out of the round robin wow. rounds. So as we get closer, it's going to be four versus five or five versus mm -hmm. seven. Tit for tat with that one. We got a 1-1 one -one game here. Estonia with an angel. France scrambling to try and get the ball into the goal of their opponent and not just a biscuit. They're not just a biscuit. Well, I meant, I meant I get know. the... It sounds like so that. Get the ball in there and not just a biscuit in... The hole. It almost sounds like you're like offending them. You're like, you're not just a biscuit. Like, 
or you want to be just a biscuit? I don't know. So, so you know, the Canadians, they, they like the hockey players, they say, oh, you're 10 ply, bro. So would uh, if you so in biscuit or in oh. class terminology, if you were salt, would you be like a grand biscuit because they're so puffy and soft? Like a grand, like a a nice croissant or like the many layers in a grand biscuit. Right. Yeah. Mm. If you were a biscuit, what type of biscuit would you be? A grand biscuit because there's layers. I'm like a complex onions. human, but also you can slather me in butter and I'm delicious. These, these guys are both going back and forth. We got France with a lead right now of one, three to two, set to serve against Estonia. Estonia taking a biscuit on their side and then uses that biscuit. Three, three. To make it three, three. Estonia wanting to put on a show here. This is because again, it's the first time that they've made an appearance at the World Championship. So, got the got the nation on their oh. back. Oh. And again, tit for tat, like we were saying. Both players just going back and forth, back and forth. France takes the lead by one, four to three. France with an angel. Estonia with a biscuit. France trying to play with that biscuit and affix it to Estonia. So looking for oh, the loss of control, it. but he got it back. He and he took a biscuit it. and changed it. Wow. All right, that was my favorite point of the uh, of the final so far. There is so much going on on the board right now. He loses control. The ball goes in and then out, and then he gets a biscuit out and then hits it on Backboards his opponent. It into Woo. Both of them just adapting to whatever play style they can get points with. Right, that was definitely so far the play of the play of the uh, the tournament so far. Oh, oh. on itself. That's, that's for the victory round one. That was. We've seen that happen a couple of times the today. The points where on they, themselves. They, yeah, and it's the same one where they go to hit it off to the side and it hits the back of and their striker, slings back off the slide wall and then into their own goal. All right, so now we have Estonia on our left and France on our right. Ooh. So oh, both with the biscuit, yep. And it's Estonia so is going to draw the first blood. I love that gloved hand. Just reminds me that we're all human. It is, especially <laughs> since you can't, since especially on the stream and everything, you can't see anything. It's just the glove the slides in, and then it slides out. Just the slides femoral in, hand coming out. in. France now leading the series one to nothing and losing this game one to nothing. So France needs to take this one to see to make to make it continue that we haven't seen a game three. Haven't seen a game three yet. The rat. The rat. I feel bad calling him the rat. I feel like that's it sounds just like, dirty. Yeah, like it's like I'm almost trying to offend, but he wants to be called the rat. That's like his like persona. Yeah. But I feel like I'm offending him. <laughs> well, I think that's just because rats get a bad stigma. Or like maybe like let's what are some notable good rat? There's ratatouille. ratatouille. Immediately ratatouille. And can you think of any other good nope, rats? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> that is it. Yeah, that's all I got right now. Ricky Ticky Tabby. He was here, rat? No, he no, was, he was a, a mongoose. He, he was a mongoose. He was a weasel. He did save that baby though. Close. All right, both players with a biscuit. Oh, oh. France takes his, picks up a biscuit. He out was of his. hungry and he took it <laughs> right to the dome. <laughs> and that's gonna make it two nothing Estonia for this one. Estonia needs this one to push it to a game three. Remember? Oh, he's just all over the board. Hmm. Oh, off biscuits the off. There's not, it, now. If I was if I if I was France right now, I would just go pick up that biscuit right now. Just Hold so on that to you, it. Yeah, just so that you can't get a weird. Don't think about it. Don't have to worry about it. Yep. And and you know the th the funny thing is though is because he's uh. in the, like that. You see, that's exactly what happened. It took a bad bounce off the biscuit. Yep. But the I would have to say the interesting thing about this is though when you're playing. You're so used to it, like I don't want to get the biscuits on me. Yeah, to switch the the mindset to go right. get it, and so it doesn't mess with your gameplay. Oh, oh biscuit. quick biscuit! Just 
Do they have jams going on out there? Yeah, in my headphones, I can hear like really smooth Some like jazz. reggaeton or something? Yeah. Oh. All right, Estonia gonna make it 4-1, which like we said, if, if Estonia wins this one, then they're gonna push to a game three. Three, first one. Yeah. Oh. Mm. I really do want to know if that music is coming from out in the... I think it might be, just to, just to cut the silence a little bit. Yeah, and so it's not so dry or stale. <laughs> like this air in here right now? Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> It's, uh, you know, I don't know why I didn't request that a fan, just a fan, a little fan Just would a go. little bit of air movement. Yeah. I mean, I can talk more and just move the air with my mouth. <laughs> I'm sure they love hearing that. I'm, yeah, that's probably an annoying dumb sound. All right, so back on the board, both players with biscuits on. Ooh, Ooh and I don't even know how he lost that one. Either. Like, he didn't slam against the wall. His head, and his head was kind of in the way for me to see it. He's, he's really playing, France is really playing like, <laughs> He's got a full, full visual of the board underneath him. But you know, that's also how I like to play. Like when I when I play, I like to be like over top of it so that I can see. Because if I'm back, it's you can't see necessarily right along this back edge. It's like your only little oh, blind spot. Oh out. man, France around the rim. Rim job. That's what she said. There's been so many times I've wanted to say that to you. You have dropped some pretty good one-liners, and I'm like. That's what she said. We haven't done it yet. I'm glad we that's, were able to bring that, it in. That was our first. That's what she said. And France, speaking of what he said, scores a goal, making it 2-5. He's on the comeback revenge tour, trying to keep it to... Two eight, games. Two, Yeah, two games and not allow this game three to happen. And we're picking up the biscuits with our stick. I. How many do you see out there? I see one, two, two three, three, four, four, five. Mad biscuits on the floor. What a waste. Um, I also didn't know that the stick with the magnet on it was a thing, and I can't tell you how many times I have broken my back looking for biscuits underneath oh, the couch. Yeah. I Especially if one. you take the game out in public somewhere, like a pub or something. And you're just like, excuse me, and you're all up in between someone's leg, and they're like, what is he, what are you doing? You're like, I just need my biscuits. You know, that's what, that is one thing, though, that I like about the game, which I don't think was by design, was that you lose the biscuits, they come off of the board, and I think that's great for the game because it introduces people to the game like, hey, what do you do? They, excuse me, I gotta get underneath your chair. Why? Well, there's a biscuit under there. Is What's that, that like, for? Is that like an inadvertent like pickup line? Like, is that how like guys pick up chicks at the bar now? <laughs> that's, that's a, yeah, that's what the class players do. They just go and they like, throw biscuits under oh, their sorry. chairs. I lost my piece. Can you help me find it? <laughs> oh, that's mine. Don't mind me. Oh. Slowly but surely, France is creeping back into the game. That's three five. That's three unanswered go or two unanswered goals mm -hmm. for France. I'm sorry. Parlez-vous français? What a cultured man you are. What? Uh, well, yeah. What part of Africa is France in again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, lost the biscuit. Oh, 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 oh. What are we doing? Angel, Angel. I can't see what's going on back there because because France's head is in the way. Well, he doesn't care about us. You just, oh. you just yell, excuse me, can you move your head so we can see? <laughs> oh, okay, he's guy. playing very aggressively. Estonia yeah, is. Smashing the ball hard. Look at that. He just yeeted that he one. He wants there. this win so bad. Oh, and he, France picks it up. He's dancing with the biscuit and he just put it right on his striker. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh. Well, oh yeah, we're going to see a game three. Okay. First one. Oh, and that was a clasp, so we gotta put it on our shirt. Yes, so many Estonian flags in the crowd right now. And we had our first Estonian chant. Martin, Martin. Oh, okay, yep. I, I, I wasn't listening. You're severe. Oh, so typical. <laughs> <laughs> typical dude. I wasn't listening. We haven't had any other USA chants yet. No, uh, you know what? When Eric was playing, I. I think you kept I it pretty forgot. civil. Yeah, I did. I didn't get. I didn't get all in my Americanness. Ooh! First blood going to Estonia. Yeah, he's putting up quite a fight. I gotta say, it's been, it's been quite interesting to watch Estonia's premier debut here. Oh, what's in him? Oh, right, so I didn't make it over the line. So now Martin has the serve. Oh, look at! Do you see how shaky his hands are? Look at that! Both of his hands on his striker and putting the ball down. He's feeling the heat, feeling the pressure. Round three is for all the medals. Yeah, he did. He did. He did just take it to. He did just push it to a game three. So the, the adrenaline is coursing through his veins. Oh! Ooh. 
Ooh. the fist pump. And he played, so he, I saw what he was trying to do there. That wasn't like he was, like the Fine. mistakes that have been made before. That was just a, a bit of a, a, a double bounce off the wall and into his own class. He's got a real poker face going right now. I don't, if he's excited, he's not showing in. I think that's an Estonian thing. Oh, they just, we just don't show excitement. <laughs> they just don't smile. Oh, oh and there's a, a class. class. A two in one game. Boy, we're at seven class I'm, right now. We I may have both been under the mark here. That was very gingerly put there, that biscuit. It was placed with love. Oh! All right, 2-2. Two, two. Not having it. Come on. France says, leave my country alone, Estonia. I'm coming for you. The crowd is very excited for this one. Yeah, they have been getting into it. And I think that's just because it's one of the, clo the closest ones we've had. You know, it's back and forth, tight margins. Yep. Both playing exceptionally. We had a call out for a five five. Will we see it? Yeah, I that would be actually that would be sweet. It'd be our first three gamer to five five. And it would literally come down to, to the last one point. point. Yeah. Yep. It's all about yep. skill, determination. All right, Estonia, two unanswered goals, running trying to distance themselves from France here. I would still like to see a five five game though. A five five three game. That. That would be epic. The five five three. You know, I think that maybe some of the, some of the issue here is the guys haven't started drinking yet. Or no, they already started drinking. Stop drinking. Maybe and yeah, then they need to start stopped. again. Yeah, yes, yeah. There was a pause in the bevies midday, which yeah. I don't know how people do. If I pause midday, I need a nap. And I need a sauna. Estonia, one point away at that one. Yeah, I agree. Especially, especially in, in when when it's your your nerves, you know, yeah. and just like that, soothe the nerves a little bit, and brother, <laughs> yeah, soothe the nerves, man. Oh, I think France could probably use a drink. Might want to snap into a slim jim after that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got. Oh, oh I lost control and regained. Oh, oh and he's gonna take you home. taking that one. Estonia uh, in their premier debut here at the World Championship. Going to take it into the semi or the quarterfinals at least. Mm -hmm. Great showing by them for their first time here heading back out to the stage. Guys, congratulations. What a match that was to watch. That was so, so exciting. We loved it. Congratulations, commiserations and we'll see you a little bit later on. Thanks very much. Big hands to the guys, everybody. <laughs> Okay, we are nearing the end right now of our round of 16, but we've got a couple more matches left. So, please can I give a massive hand to Kohei from Japan next! Oh, this is the match a lot of people have been waiting for. Mm -hmm. Japan's debut. This music's really oh. Oh. of the tournament so far. She's Big smiles right. all round. Guys, best of luck to you. Take your seats and over to the commentary. I wish I could bottle up Kohei's excitement and oh, put it in my Kohei's got a special cushion that he likes to use when he plays. I think that just adds to his 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 overall ambiance that is Kohei. You, know, you just want to be comfortable and you want to be able to see everything. That is true. Oh. Wow. Wow, that's the first uh, that's zero? the first zero we've seen on the on the flick off. It's a flick off. Do you think that's a skill people practice too? I, oh, I think yeah, I definitely <gasps> should. Oh, there's a loss of control. It. That's number three. How many loss of controls do you think we're gonna have today? I'd say seven. 
Seven? I think it's going to start getting feisty towards the end. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to... I'm going to go high on this one. I'm going to go eight on you. High on this one. Just one more above you. Ooh, slowing the pace of play. He's dribbling the ball. I think he's just adapting to what he's doing at this point. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. Go hey there with the with another gold make, increasing his lead 2-0. Go hey is the is the oldest of 3. He has two brothers and he works as a board game shop. Uh, he works at a board game shop as staff where uh, he has a girlfriend of 3 years. Oh. Does she play games with them? Oh. She does. Oh. 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 This control another. What one. is the ref going to say on this? <laughs> Point to Pascal. Yep. Which is weird because he rushed for it and he did capture uh, Pascal's striker, but then he came back. He let go, yeah, he lost control of it, and then Pascal got control. Is that a double loss? Uh, not a double loss, but uh, point for Pascal. Yeah, point point for Pascal. Oh, oh, that was just like a a slow, methodical rolling one right into the. He clasp. said, "I am putting this in the hole." And you're gonna watch it and like it. He, he. I don't know if he liked it, but he definitely watched it. <laughs> oh, what's he gonna do? Stuck that in the corner. So what's? Oh, oh, and another. I, I'm gonna. You, do we count that one as a class? It was also a goal. Yeah, he rolled right into it. Okay, he went in there. Eight. All right, we're at eight. Pascal down 4-1. Oh! They, see, we keep seeing that. They even, 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 I was not expecting that from Kohei to make no. uh, to make a mistake on his own like that to score on himself. Ready. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, another no, loss no, of no, control. No. Things are starting to get spicy. Nope, wrong one. Oh, loss. Whoops. Number five. Number five. Okay. Number five. They're both playing like tricky dance moves here. Yeah, and then oh. and then like break dance moves when they lose control of their striker. Right. First round goes to Kohei. First round to Kohei. Oh, he didn't grab his. He didn't grab. Oh, his pillow. <laughs> he's he's so in the moment right now. <laughs> Always with a smile on his face. Yes. I think the her, the word that I have heard Kohei say the most this turn is yes. 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 It's like a quick yes. Yeah, with, the, with the Kohei smile, of course. Yes. Smile. Direct eye contact. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh. The way he handles the ball is just very pretty. Kohei? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, especially he's only been playing for a year and a half. Uh, doesn't he train like four hours a day? That's what I've heard. That's what I've heard. I've heard that uh, leading up to the championship, he trained four hours a day. That's a lot of class. Yeah, I don't know if he live streamed or twitched it or anything, um, which would be a would be a power move to do that, just so that other people could see you playing and know like you're actually playing and practicing and taking it that serious. He's confident in his skills. I, I will say that like the way he moves about the Ooh. ball is very structured and very confident you know look at that he just take it took it out flung it right off the sidewall and right on the he pascal put the, he put the ball off to the side said sit stay i've got something to do over here and then came back oh ring around the rosy double ring around the rosy Oh, did you see that? Like he, I don't know if he saw Pascal going for it, but he shot the biscuit over to the Where right side going? preemptively, <laughs> and Pascal almost got biscuited right there when he did that. But instead, he decided to score a goal as well. <laughs> he decided to score a goal. Well, I think with I think with I think with Kohei's uh, what's the word? I don't want to say dominance, but with his uh, control. I, I think in demeanor, that's, uh, yeah, he decided to score He definitely goal. decided. He's going to try to hit that biscuit, isn't he? Yep. Ooh. I'm surprised he missed, actually. I'm surprised that he missed off that serve. Pascal trying to do the same. Oh, oh and he sick. almost, yeah, he almost got himself. He did score the goal, 
And then he he also maneuvered really quickly, and which would which did slingshot it back. That was I don't a great think move. He gave himself the point. I could be lying. Uh, you know, I don't know if I saw that. <laughs> I'm trying to think now if if I if I everything happens so, so fast, fast on the class. And board. you trust them to like go and keep keep their own tally, but I feel like maybe he didn't give himself the point. Ooh. Oh, in and out, just a little too hard. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> well, if you're gonna say it, you gotta I know, say it. I just <laughs> You can't just like, you can't just like snicker snork under your voice. Oh, I certainly can. Ah. Wow. And I will say, if he didn't give himself the point, it is very easy to do that. You know, you're in the moment. Lots you're going excited. on in the class, but yeah, you're excited to that you got a point, and you just want to serve it up and get another one going. Two biscuits on his side. Oh, he's giving it to him. He, it's. Oh. Ooh, oh. 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 Man, Pascal is losing control of his striker quite a bit. There's been. He, he's had a couple loss oh. of controls. But then I, you see him losing control where his striker flips over and he immediately regains control. Gets but that's happening a lot for him. I wonder if that's typical in this play style. I didn't get a chance to watch much of the group round with him. Yeah, neither did I. So I, I can't comment on that. Maybe that's just that's just his jam. <laughs> He's a wild and crazy guy. He's like you never know what I'm gonna do next. I might lose, lose my striker. Maybe I won't. <laughs> never let him know your next move. No, that's exactly what he's doing. <laughs> Whew! Koei deciding not to go for the biscuit. <laughs> it's a not now. Yeah, you stay there. You bad little biscuit. <laughs> I'm gonna use you later. Ah. Oh wow! Or not? Or not? Or not. It's like I don't need no biscuit in my life. I just need this ball. Kohei goes 2-0. And man, what a what a, what a great showing for Japan showing up for their first time in the World Championship, representing hard for GP, GPN. He's uh he's gonna. I think we're gonna see him further on in the tournament down the line. I would have to agree. Congrats, guys. Thank you so much for a thrilling game. We will see you a little bit later on. Bag round of hands, everybody. Well done, well done, well done. Right, every time it and just we're on to our very final match of this round of 16. I cannot believe it is absolutely whizzed by. So let's, without further ado, introduce them onto the stage. Please welcome, from right here in Finland, it's Yussi. Oh, the pride of the motherland. UC's also one of the guys I would really like to see make it to the final. He's become a good friend of mine over the years and has always represented Finland. He just had a child as well. Ooh. And not that I'm biased, but please welcome Rob from the UK! Love it. Well, listen, it's been a long time that you guys have had to wait. Are we ready and feeling good? Let's do it. Take your seats and over to commentary. You see when he's standing there, just looks so Finnish. <laughs> I didn't know where that was going. I was like, what does he look like? It just, yeah. You know, like, Rob, he's kind of got this, like, his shoulders are back. He's po the poised. The confidence. Yeah, yeah. And, and then you see he's just like, hey. I'm, I'm from here. Finland. Yeah, I'm here. Ooh. Good flick off by UC to win to serve. Like I said, he and his wife just, uh, I think their 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 baby is how old now? A uh, couple of months, I believe. Is that the so, baby in the audience? Oh, that could be. I did hear one earlier. I bet you it is too. I'd want my kids here. We'll have to we'll have to find out on the break, but that, I, I, for his sake, I hope it is because I know he really loves this game and he loves his family. Nice first blood. First blood going to Rob. The UK. Picking the biscuits off the floor. The white glove. Should I put the white gloves on to like be a part of the white glove society? You could, just to see what it feels like. I think I just start sweating though. <laughs> yeah, that's also true. I, I'm actually looking forward to Oh, you oh. see getting a point here. Two biscuits Rob took to himself, basically. 
I'm actually looking forward to this first set break just so we can walk outside and get a little bit Breathe. of air. Yeah. Not be breathing <laughs> each other's carbon dioxide anymore. Yeah. You see, with an age. Oh, oh, wait, what's. What is happening? Sean says, and I would have to agree with him. Hey, Rob first. Yep, it was. Oh, but so now on our class counter, is that just one or is that two? It would be one, but we can call it out as we had a double class skin still. Okay, we'll, we'll put a D above that one. <laughs> yes, we will. But yeah, wow, that was that was very close. Good eye on Sean Flynn, the referee there, because I that's why you need a fresh and that's why we switch the referees out, because you need a fresh set of eyes so that you can take a break. I think the refs in the back are napping when they're not watching the board. Yeah. For instances just like that. They're closing their eyes so they can have them at like peak performance. Yeah. I was, I saw Eric Wilson's dad back there. Eric Wilson's dad is another one of the older gentlemen that's here and he was clo uh, laid back on the couch with his eyes closed and I'm like hey who let the who let the homeless old guy in here to, to take a nap oh, oh you went see. for it he what went a for move. it he, yep he was trying to smack them both with the ball and you know sometimes you risk it and sometimes you get the biscuit oh, wow put that on a t-shirt <laughs> But anyway, so so back to Eric's dad in, in uh, homeless old man in the the yeah. waiting room. And then he wakes up and he says, "Who has awoken me from my sleep in like a very like prominent way?" And he's like, and I said, "Yeah, what are you doing sleeping in here, old man?" And he's like, ah, "I wasn't sleeping. I was just resting my eyes." And oh, typical a typical old man response. Typical typical dad response. Just resting my eyes. Oh, no! right how did that happen? That didn't seem to be going that it's fast. It's just, just like hydroplaned acro across the hole. Oh, I bet you what it is is in that situation, it's going just fast enough to where it's it goes and it bounces. And then it, oh, so it comes just out. yeah, but it, it's not like a hard shot, so it doesn't high bounce out of the back lip. Oh, the heavy sigh from. Oh! Ooh. Oh! This is this is uh, this also one of the going to be one of those closer matches from where they both players have seated equally close to one another. So I think we're going to see a back and forth tick for tap match here. You see the serve. Oh, he almost just got him with an ace, but then sniped oh, him with no, a biscuit. You see with the clasp. You know, I I will say that is something that I know I've seen you see and talk to him about struggle with especially before here when when I've played him a couple times even in Finland he's told me that he has to cut down on his class Clasking? yes sounds like a drug Be like I need to cut back on the class man <laughs> oh oh Come Rob's on. gonna take the first game against the Finn I know in the audience we have a, a former world championship comp competitor Mira also here to root for Finland and cheer them on Oh, good call. Oh. Where did that first biscuit? Did it just fly out of the fly I, out of the it, board? It was moving so fast. I did not even see it. see it. Yeah, I think I heard it from the small sonic boom that it made, yeah. but I definitely did not see it. But you heard it like five seconds afterwards. Oh, a little dance, a little dribble around the ball. I, I, I am so impressed when people do that and they do like the little the little circle around the ball mid shot. I'm like, if I did that, I would be losing balls, losing strikers, like that. Like, oh, oh, Rob's gonna give up first blood to UC on that one. Good play by I, I think I think yeah, UC is trying to get into his opponent's head a little bit, switch up his game, uh, not let him know where he's going. Like you mentioned, oh, look at that. Rob went to go for the biscuit, and then UC just puts one in the goal. He saw a quick opportunity. Oh, up and over. And then, man. oh, Rob bangs it, gets the ball back on his side. Oh, wow, man. What is happening? That was another one of them ones where, was that, where there was a lot happening, and UC gets it with the goal before the loss of control. He's up 3-0 right now. It's always good when you're playing this level to have a three-point lead because you can play a little bit. You can you feel a little bit less. You you relax a little bit. Yeah, you relax. You settle in, and you you, you usually take a little bit oh. more chances. Look at that. You see again with the loss of control. Well, that's what you're saying. Oh no, he was he was he, he was clasping. Clasking. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was good with the the three-point buffer. 
Yep, now he's got to get another one to get that three-point buffer again. Oh, really? Ooh, okay, he's going to serve me. Now he's... Let's see what he does with this serve. Hit is he going to go for the... Yep, that's what I'm thinking. Tried, but just missed. I was surprised that Rob played the biscuit, Ooh. even though he had one there. I would have thought that he would have... That's a risky tried... biscuit. Yeah, a risky biscuit is correct, Danny. Go in that corner. Grab, Ooh. Grab the biscuit. Oh, oh, there it is. What a play by UC. <laughs> Utilizing the two cor the, the corner to get to, to hit the ball at the biscuit and bank it around to connect it to Rob Stryker. That was impressive. That was a, that was a sexy shot. He's got he's got his three point lead again, so now he's he can loosen up a little bit and Ooh. got another biscuit on Rob. Oh, Ooh. Wow. Just when you think you can relax, I'm like my heart. The rate's ball comes back high. to attack. Oh. All right, now he's got the three-point buffer again. He can breathe again. Or can he? Is he going to go for the gold right now? Ooh. Ooh. I thought I thought that one was actually going to ring around and go in. Uh, UC trying to play. Ooh, oh, wow. What a save by Rob. I thought that was going in. Or he was going to take that. Oh. And he turns it around. Oh. Rob's like, we're not going to round three. I, you know, you, you always want to end it as soon as you can just to conserve. I, it does, You wouldn't think it like, okay, yeah, these guys aren't running 100 meters or whatever on a football field, but it does take a lot out of you mentally. Yeah. To sit there and concentrate that long and to just. And to have the right amount of focus because these guys, everything's happening on this board so fast. So it's like a different type of, it's like a different type of reflex and, and muscle energy that you're using because you gotta have it's quick it's those Ooh, fast twitches in and out oh and he loses the biscuit good 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 job there now he's good oh, oh there's a class for rob he's pushing through a game three it was fitting to have a class bring it to round three all right we're not even done with the with, with the first elimination round and we're already at, at 11. 11 flasks during the tournament do we want tournament. to Oh, we want a 5-5. Five, five. I would like to see a 5-5 five, five right here. Is that Mickle in the background shouting 5-5? Five, five? <laughs> just just the beer in his hand. Yeah. Give me a 5-5. Five, five. Mick, the Mickle, the creator of the game. He's 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 like the 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 that weird drunk guy at a at a soccer game in England, you know. <laughs> just barking just, at the refs or whatever. Or just at like a concert like Mark Cowbell. Yeah. Oh, biscuits. Biscuits for you see if you take the first point. You know, I wouldn't you know it'd be funny to see to if Mickle did get kicked out of the venue for, of the <laughs> of the World Championship. I though. made this game. Yeah. You can't kick me out. <laughs> Sir, you're being unruly and pissing everyone off. <laughs> Dude, but you can't really be pissed at Mickle. You can't. The guy's always smiling. He's, he's always happy. I... Another person I just love being around. Oh, nice shot. Okay, nice shot by Rob. It's gonna it's gonna be a back and forth match. Maybe maybe whoever said five five <laughs> in the back is gonna get their get their wish. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, both of them took a biscuit. Oh, there's UC with that same move we've seen many people do where they hit it off the back of their striker and it ends up going into their own goal. Oh, he is, he is shaking too. What's going on with Rob's striker here? Looks like we got an issue. Back of the white glove. Not so smooth. Thing. He's looking for a new striker, I think. He certainly is. You see, making sure his side of the board is broken. Oh, oh, what's he gonna do? I, yeah, it, he's just making sure. He's making sure his skills are in check. So I, th I think that's exactly what we're gonna do. I think they're gonna they're gonna change out the striker here. Yep. Okay. Rob's gonna inspect it now. To be fair, I have noticed folks sitting on that side of the board have gone and checked the striker in between more often than the other side of the board. Right, and uh, that's also the side of the board where we've seen it with the, when you're playing the biscuits, the magnets, or the biscuits stick to you more yes. on that side of the board. So Maybe we'll, we'll see a change of pace now. Yeah. You know what I really miss about the strikers is Mikkel came out with a set of strikers in the EU that didn't have a piece of plastic between the magnet and... and so just like raw dog the board? Yeah, it raw, but it was like a really nice smooth magnet and huh. it was really powerful. I love those European magnets, but you couldn't use them in the US. You know why? Why? Because they were... Because yeah. Americans... 
Well, what there's did we, a point by Rob. What did we do now to ruin the fun? Exactly. America's got to ruin everything. It seems like in the, uh, they were wor- there was it was a, it was a child concerned that oh, they were going to eat, eat it. it. Yep. Like and, and this was the thing because what, the only way that you could eat it is if you boiled the, the oh, striker the plastic around to get it the and plastic get it and then get it out. Yeah. So that would have had to happen. Yeah, you see a two-year-old just stick a striker in the boiling water, be like, "No, hey, I need to eat this leave now." It, leave it to America in that sense. I love, I, I love my country, but man, sometimes. So to be fair, my my small child would have figured out a way to eat that thing. <laughs> All right, you see with the point there. We tied up, tick for tat. We're three-three now in this match. Rob set to serve. You know, weird question, but have you? I've been checking this out. Who? I've been looking at the players' hands. And who and like their nails and their cuticles and everything that are on oh, the board. Oh, so like who's? Yeah, I'm I'm wondering if you, uh, if you have a favorite hand I class been hand noticing. model yet. I ha- but I have noticed. See, like look at Rob. Rob Rob has some really nice fingernails. I was noticing that no one had like ick hands. <laughs> like those are like pretty like they just dirt underneath the fingernails or just like chewed to high hell. Everyone has like nice looking hands for the most part. But now I'm gonna overanalyze all of their hands. I'll let you know. Yep. So, so next time, guys that are listening, that if you want to come to the world championship, make sure you come prepared with manicures. The, yeah, actually, that would be something that would be kind of funny to do as uh, do like a sauna island with manicures. a manicurist or something. I there. think it's a great idea. Everyone deserves. A- oh man, Rob pulls away from UC. U- UC's in trouble now. He's got to make up some ground. Oh, are we yelling again in the back? Oh, chanting. There we go. We got a UC chant. Finland in the house. Well, we're in Finland's house. We are. That is true. Get the ball back. The Finns are in this house. My back is sticking to the chair. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, you see, got lucky there. He really, really needs a point here. We got to bring it to 5 5. Yep. And so right now he needs two back to back in order to make that happen. Oh, what a save! What a great save by Yusuf. Got rid of that biscuit. That's right. And again, at this point, I would just go get it if I were him. What's he gonna do? It's not. <gasps> okay. That, yep. That's that's fine. I'm nervous about this round. Oh, oh okay. What good save by Yusuf. That's actually one. Uh, that's probably the hardest defense move I think there is to learn is to get used to hitting the ball back at your own class. So that uh, it just skips out like that. Yep. I'm terrible at it. Ben's tried to... Oh! oh there we go! You see, the, the Finns are getting excited. He's creeping back. They want... The crowd wants a 5-5. The crowd I wants want a 5-5. Five. Five. We want a 5-5. Five five. Oh, he almost lost control there. They have a lot of biscuit play going. Oh, angel save. Oh, they're starting with another slow clap. That makes me Oh, oh wow. Okay. You see, making it a 5 5 game. Holy hell. Oh. This is. Yeah, game three. Oh, uh, the crowd! Listen to that crowd. This is what we've been waiting for. Oh, look at their hands. Look at that. Do you see how shaky their hands are here? This is the last point. This is a two. Each player has one game. This point decides it all. Rob to serve. Oh! oh my gosh! What a move! Rob does it to himself. Oh! Sorry, oh. Amazon. Wow, what a match that was. Both players doing an excellent job. Rob at the end puts it in his own class. I would only have to imagine that had something to do with the nerves because that was a match. We had UC coming back. We had 5-5, first 5-5, three-game match we've seen. Wow. That was the moment we were waiting for right there. And it was exhilarating. That was too much. I think that was too much for everybody. I feel like everybody was holding their breath during that match. It was absolutely Fantastic. Well done, you guys. You gave us a really entertaining game. Thank you so much. You. We'll let you go for now. Thank you very much. Oh! And, all right.
right, there you are. That means we have now got our quarter finalists. And I'm going to pull up the page just to make sure I get this right, because it's very, very important that I get these right for you. So, in no particular order, we have got through Eric from the USA. We've got Filippo from Italy. We've got Tomek from Poland. We've got Kohei from Japan. We've also got Luigi from Italy, Asuka from Denmark, Estonia's Martin, and we just saw it then, we've got UC from Finland. And can I just say, by the way, if that's how things are played in the round of 16, I have no idea how our nerves are going to take it if we get to the final. Uh, right now, let's hand over to our lovely commentators who are going to give us a little bit of an overview of everything we just saw. All right, here we go. We in the production crew one all right so here we go we uh, I'm trying to figure out who it was oh it's Eric all right and here we got Tomek on there and what a goal by Tomek to take that through on the first hand and then uh, I, I'm having trouble knowing That's a lot I wasn't I wasn't prepped with, with who the highlights <laughs> were and it's happening too quick All right, so there we got Peepo, I know for sure. Peepo with a great <laughs> biscuit, with a biscuit snipe. I could only tell by his arms. <laughs> Peepo with two angels there. Let's see what he's got here. He's, well, where, where was the? The shot. Okay, all right. Ingo and uh, Asgar. Ingo and oh, Asgar. Oh, look at that smirk on him. All right, so here we get... Tomek. Oh, that's where Asgard lost his, uh, his magnet, his bottom part. Oh, yeah, that, definitely, one of the, definitely one of the more interesting plays there when he lost. I've never seen in this level of play someone lose the bottom of their well, striker. Well, we saw it today. <laughs> I, think that, I think that was the one we were talking about where a little bit of everything happened, where the ball was in the goal... Oh, that smile. <laughs> Gotta love it. Okay, look at this setup here. And look, a straight snipe off the board for that one. For the, that was UC's right there, bringing it back to, I think that was the, the third game there. Okay, I think that's going to be about it for our highlights. But UC crawling back here. This is really, UC did a really great job of pushing this to, to the final and really taking it to the end, making every point worth fighting. That, that was a great first round of play that we've seen from the players. What, what, what do you expect to see different, same, or otherwise in this, in this quarterfinals? I'm hoping to see the same level of competition because that was a lot, especially that last round. That was a great one to go out on. And I think we're going to see more round three plays. Yeah, we saw definitely. Two, two go to round three. Two so went I'm, to round three there, yep. I have a feeling we're going to see a lot more evenly matched round three plays right to the end. Yeah, usually in this round that we've seen in the past, this is where a lot of, we see a lot of the, the, the really great games happen with a lot of unique plays. The players are, because, you know, the first, the top seeds are, are playing the, like the bottom seeds, so now they're kind of getting a little more into the different skill levels. Mm -hmm. Things are going to get a little crazier, a little tighter. Are, do we need to rework our, our stats? Because we we had we're already at 11 clasks and we had said 12 and 13 are we, are we gonna start seeing a lot more of these I don't know I, I, maybe maybe we don't because now the first round is over we'll have to t when we take our little break here we'll talk about that in the back room oh I'm interested to see where this goes all right <laughs> trying to uh, guess the highlights from people's <laughs> fingers was yeah. my personal favorite moment of the day <laughs> well done <laughs> okay everybody are we ready to get Head strong into the quarter finals. Is everybody ready for it? Come on, I need a little bit more, a little bit more. Is everybody ready for the quarter finals? Yes, thank you. Okay, without further ado, then let's introduce our first opponents. We have got lined up for you Eric from the USA. Back on. USA, USA, USA. 
USA, <laughs> USA. Eric, where are you at, man? He's coming. Here he is. He's back. Hey. There he is. Come on, Eric. The man, the United States legend, the hammer. And versus Eric from the USA, we have got Luigi from Italy. We got a USA versus Italy matchup going on here. This is going to be great. It's going to be hot and sweaty. <laughs> Welcome back to the quarterfinals. We are very excited to see what goes down. The very best of luck for you. Go take your seats. Whew, man, speaking of hot and sweaty, uh, I thought we were going to get a break uh, after that first round. But They're like, no, you are going to sit and you are going <laughs> to suffer in each other's filth right now. I, I, I think those, those, uh, those ones that took it to a game three might have put them in a bit of a time crunch. So. Probably. We're, we probably got to make that up. It's, so speaking of, if there's anyone listening to the stream right now, if you, if you wouldn't mind grabbing me a Lonkaroo, <laughs> bring it to the booth, that would be well appreciated. And a fan. And a fan if you have it. I don't know about you, Danny, but I know I got at least several fans out in the audience. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, we got the hat backwards. Oh, he... He pulled it. He, 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 that was uh, something that I would do in the uh, it, when I first played. I'd uh, keep my hat on forwards, and then as soon as I got into play mode, Sylvester yeah, Stallone it, throw it right to the back. Was that your signature move? Uh, the push, <coughs> I think the push-ups were my signature move. You did push-ups before every match. When I came out, I did push ten push-ups. Of course you did. Why am I not surprised by this? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Wilson with all the biscuits on his side. And oh, what a snipe! Look at that play. Plays the ball and throws another biscuit over on Reone and making it one nothing USA. Ooh, Reone taking a biscuit off of his own serve. And now Eric trying to fling him back over there onto, onto Reone's side. And he takes him for a point. It's 2 nothing USA. Italy, very. Uh, did, you, did you hear that? Yes, it was. Yes. It's like a very stern, stern. Yes, very serious. But you, but again, you know, the Italians, I think, take class the most serious out of any nation. You're like they go crazy for class. They play to win the game. Yeah, and they have the, their club systems and everything are set up really well. They play quite regularly, so it does not surprise me how serious the Italians take it. They. They, uh, uh, Daniel, the president of the of Class Italia, was one of our judges in the first group stage round, and it's but they, again they take it so serious. Daniel, they wanted him to be a judge in this in the finals too, he and he like, said no, no, thank no thank you. I want to watch my players play. Good for him. Yeah. So very supportive, oh. very supportive community and team from the Italians there. Rayone getting his first point on the U.S. Eric Wilson there. Ooh, Eric with two biscuits right out. Right out. He hits it with one and then swipes to get the other one over on Rayone's side. Now what's he gonna do? Oh, look at Ooh. that! Sykes him out like, oh, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna. He's playing coy. Yeah, I'm gonna get you at this uh, ball. I'm gonna oh. get you at the biscuit and I'm gonna put one in the goal. All right. So now that you've pointed this out to me, Eric has wonderfully manicured fingernails. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, 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 those look great. I haven't seen Riones yet. Probably because his is on the other side of the board where it's harder to see. We'll see it next round. And his other hand is below the board where it should be. Yep. Do, doing doing work. Ooh. Man, Eric getting off to a nice, comfortable lead 4-1. I feel like this has been like a clean round. Yeah. See, now we can all see what's going on on top of the board, but oftentimes I wonder if there's anything going on under the table. Oh, did they play like handsies? Handsies, footsies. footsies. Well, yeah, not handsies because they're using both their hands. Well, yeah, footsies. Like, maybe, maybe the handsies can like just slowly reach around the table and just. I've I've thought about doing that against Tomek when I play because he's left-handed, oh, and, and just so as a right hand, just like yeah, just like just caress. throw him off, you know. I don't know if that would be an illegal Foul move. Play. Yeah, probably. And, <laughs> and that that's something that hasn't been discussed in the. Hasn't need to be brought up yet as a rule, <laughs> yeah. but we're gonna make a new one just for you. No handsies, no footsies. Your body cannot be on anyone else's body. <laughs> Rayone two points away now from the American. Oh, what a great save. Oh, and he's just wow, dancing around. I didn't that? know what was going to happen. The way he was just break dancing that striker there. Wow. Rayone gets one in, and that's going to make it a one-point game. 4-3 U.S. set to serve. 
Eric came here with his wife and his dad and a nice little crew from the U.S. It's always nice to have another fellow American make it far in the in the competition. You know, gives you someone to root for. Rayone, that's a couple now unanswered goals for the Italian, and he seems to be coming back with a vengeance. But back to what you're saying, Eric's, Eric's making it far. I'm watching him, he went undefeated in the group round. Yeah. He, he came to serve. And, and and not only that, but he also went undefeated in the in the first elimination round, too. True. So, he hasn't he, lost he did, it. Yeah, he hasn't lost a game yet in these finals. Ooh. Oh. And that's gonna set up. That's gonna set him up to be poised to lose his first game here if he allows Don't one more. It. I'm not trying to. Oh, oh, there we go. He snagged it. Five, he five. snagged it. We got a five-five as the Austrians say the favorite situation. Did you say snagged it? Like snag S- the magnet? Snagged it. Sna- I think I said snagged it. But if it sounded like snagged yeah, it, snagged it. I'll, I'll take it. It's my signature move. Snagged it, bra. <laughs> oh man, Rayone got him. Just made that biscuit travel all around the board to find him off the backside. <laughs> Who is in the back? Just... No, that was definitely an Italian, and I don't know what they said. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, and he takes the biscuit when he tries to flick it, giving Eric Wilson the lead one nothing. Ooh, good stop by Wilson. Oh, what a little snipe. I don't think Rayoni was expecting to pick up that biscuit. And then Wilson sent another Get one right firing back. his way and just linked up on him. That's going to make it 2 0. I think Eric. Really oh, Eric Wilson 3 0 now. He wants to bring it to round three. He is not having it. Yeah, he's pissed because he lost his first game. Yeah. Oh. He's not. I don't think he wants. Uh, he, he can't allow Rayoni to get away. That's not the American way. It, no, you it can't not. let someone get away with something in America unless you're a politician. Then you get away I with everything. I we decided we're not. We're not doing politics. I, I was just. Oh. I mean, there's so many things I could have said by now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to the board. We got four-one USA leading Italy here. And there's a lot of topics to cover there. Yes. Sir. Trying to play the hand signal game with uh, people out in the crowd. Trying to motion for someone to grab me something to drink in this hot booth. If anyone listening to the stream can 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 like comment so that uh, someone can hear the the <laughs> the commentators are thirsty. I'm thirsty. It's four two. Four two. Eric in the lead. Rayone with one biscuit on him, firing him towards. The American. The American leaves. Oh, that was like a really quick biscuit sling. He's really been practicing those, he was telling me. Lunkaroo. Oh, biscuit. Is Eric going to make it go to round three? If there's there's any Lunkaroo, otherwise any beer is fine. Oh, thank thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, 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 he almost got it. Uh, five, uh, uh, the first round was 5-5 five, five to Rayone. And now Eric trying to make push this to a game three because Rayone first got the... First, oh, no! That's going to take, take the American out. Oh, man, what a showing. Wow, what a showing. Eric did, Eric played a great game. Ray got off to a quick lead, and Rayone just wasn't going to let it happen. He was nope. a steel wall back there, not letting anything get by him, playing great biscuit play. Lots of great biscuit play. 
and and we're gonna see Rayone advance into the into the into the fi- or quarter final semifinals. semifinals. I'm uh, it's too bad for Mr. Wilson here. Great showing for my USA crew, and uh, we'll head back to our host. And I'm gonna get you guys to head with me over here for a little post-match interview. Come on over. Give a round of applause, everybody. Come and stand this way for me. Love that. There you go. That's it. Just that. Just that. Turn around that way for us. There you go. Listen, guys, that was an amazing, amazing match to watch. I'm going to start with you, Eric. Here's the microphone. Tell me, how was it for you? It kind of sucked at the end. Uh, I felt like I started off strong both games, and he uh, hung in there and managed to get the win. So, oh, particularly the uh, second game, I really thought you were just going to fly through to the end, and it was yours. But it just wasn't to be, unfortunately, today, was it? No, it felt that way for a while. I think I got to five two maybe, and then uh-huh. he came back. Yeah. Well, you have the, the support of the USA crowd behind you. That is for sure. The hat always helps. So congratulations! <laughs> Thank you for coming today. I'm going to pass over to Luigi. <laughs> I, he's going to say, I don't speak English. I know you don't, but are you happy? Yeah. Yeah. Happy. Yeah. Happy. That's all we need to know. Congratulations, guys. And off you go. Thank you very much. Great game. Really good to see you. Thank you, guys. And we're going to move now on to our... Who the five five guy is? We need to. We need to. Make, we need, I want. I, and I want to know who he is so that I can make him a shirt so that next year he comes back. It just says five five on it, and he's five five guy. I, I think we need to make just T-shirts in general so it could be like an ongoing theme. Like five five. All right. So these two are a couple of my favorite players. I've played with the both of them. Uh, Pipo and Asger. Obviously, Asger take it. The, the first time we faced off in each other was at the 2017 World Championship. And that was the one where he was the favorite. And uh, I, I was the upsetting underdog in that one. And so I'm kind of rooting Ooh. for Asger in this one. He's been to all of people off to a, to an early start. But Asger's been to all of the World Championships, 2017, 2018, 2019. But just hasn't bit yet to, to seal the deal. And So you know what I just realized? What? We, we made our top fours. Our, our, we made our predictions early on. Yep. And this is going to foil both of our plans. That it would. That it would. Well, um, I don't know. Where's... Where's that paper? Where, where did that one go? Because I, I think... I, I had one. I had two. One was we came up with, like, an ideal dream. Yeah, like, people we would love yeah, to see. Yeah, we just wanted to see four. them. And then we had one, like, who we really thought was going to end up it there. To the top four. Dig through these little papers. There's so many papers with notes. Okay, right here. Okay. Ooh, ooh. So we had, we, we, we each chose five. Yep. And, uh, oh, the, we, we both have an up. We both, we both, we both chose Eric. We definitely both and had our Eric. five. So that's gonna. And it wasn't because we're both American. It's no. because he was on a tear. On a he street. was, yeah. Like in all of the games, he, like when I played him, uh, the first day that we showed up, he beat me, I think, like 6 1, 6 1 in the couple times. In fact, in fact, I didn't, I scored more points again uh, against him the second morning in one game than I did in all the five games I think we played against each other the first night. So I had really high ups for him, and a lot of the other players did too. And back to this game here, we got Pipo and Asger battling it out. Asger up one, two to one. And no biscuits to be had on this, or biscuit points to be had. There's just an angel in 
Asger's class, which I don't know if he's going to leave oh. it in there. Well, he's got to leave it in there now. People just allowed one goal, so now it's 3-1 Asger. See, your top five is always not safe. And then... Because I have Asger and people in mine. And neither... In, I also have them in mine. So, this, yeah, this is going to mess up our top five. Yeah. But that's exciting. Yeah. Because I feel like there are some folks that are going to be moving on unsuspecting. Yeah. True, true. Estonia, one of them. Maybe something without sugar. Thank you. Water. Thank you. That is the true angel here. Yeah. Water. Our, we just had uh, we just had Alexander Copen, our lead referee, come in for the save. Give us some water in the booth. And advise we stop consuming sugar. <laughs> yeah. People, while while we were chatting there, getting our water scored a goal on Asger to creep up on them two to three. Asger oh. hits a biscuit, giving people an angel, and then just does kind of like a slow rolling straight shot towards people and man sinks it making it four two there's a lot of biscuits on his side of the board there is who who did was that someone respond to us not for long yeah was that or someone Asger? reading our mind that kind of sounded like Asger, maybe who? are we just playing class with the biscuits now i guess we said, we don't need balls. We have biscuits. Ah, people took a biscuit. He was trying. Oh, oh it's off. Oh, oh Asger. 6-2. Oh. 6-2. High five. again. It's so hot in here. There's so much pressure behind the water. I just popped open. <laughs> oh my! You know, this is an ongoing theme for any of you guys that have tuned in to the previous uh, live podcast or streams from the Class World Championship. Every year, the booth is hot, no matter what happens. Both Danny and I walked in here like, "Oh, this is nice. Like it's uh, it's a nice little booth, and it seems well ventilated. And I think we should be fine in here." No. Do you know why? Because it's hot as hell. It's because we're both hot people. That's also probably got a lot to do with it. When you get two hot people in a room together, you just they eat. sweat. Just exude we, we, I was trying That's, to think of a play on voice and moist and, and sweat you, are, you, and did, wet. you did it once. We don't, need to do, we don't need to revisit that. <laughs> don't need to give anyone else nightmares. I, I love how much they're playing with the biscuits. Yeah, they are. Like, surprising for people. Like, I know people to 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 play with the biscuits. Well, but his first match it was all biscuits. Yeah, but like I said, normally I don't I, I don't recall him playing with the biscuits as much. And you got Asger, who is the OG biscuit, master. biscuit boy, biscuit wizard, biscuit wizard, as he so put in his profile, biscuit wizard. Oh, there's a oh, win. Round two. And for those of you wondering, uh, the, the Luigi Raone was actually uh, Raone was actually the Italian class world champion uh, just this past year. But Pippo had qualified in Essen, mm -hmm. and before COVID happened, and so they gave him they also gave him a spot. So uh, Pippo earned the spot through Essen, the the tournament that was held, I think, back in 2019. So he had yeah. to, he had to wait. It's a long to, time to wait. Yeah. Well, everyone's been waiting, technically. Right. Oh. People to draw first blood. I think they're putting a fan above us. Oh, man. I, I think they are, and if they are, bless their souls. That would be amazing. Are you still eating that chocolate? I am eating the chocolate. As so, I'm trying to figure out what they're doing outside the booth here, because... This is, uh, I'm hope. Oh, you know what it is? Put your hand by these lights. That's what's making it hot in here. I feel like those are those are hot. I feel like a zoo animal, and people are just watching us, like over like a fish in an aquarium. Oh, I, I just got a, I just got a heads up from the IT guy. I think they're gonna pump some air in here for us. Woo! That is gonna make things nice. Hello. Okay, all right. We just got some word from the from the crew. Oh, but 
Pipo sneaks one past Asger, making it 2-0. So he, he may have won that last one 6-2. But, or 6-3, I'm sorry. But uh, right now he hasn't put one on the board yet for Denmark. I feel like... I can feel it. Yeah, there's a little bit of airflow here. Oh, I can feel it. Yeah, my can you feel it on your toes? I can't. Oh. I got. Oh, you got on. your grip is out. Yeah. You I don't. I don't know what grip is. Oh, oh, there's a loss of control. Oh. Loss Should of turn, control. That's got to go on our sheet. that into an adult beverage game. Oh, we still can. We still have time, um, and it is quite warm. But so yeah, let's let's, <laughs> let's do pick that. up that pace. Um, where did our Where did the paper go with our? How do we keep I'm just gonna call you this? the paper shredder. There we go. Okay, so we got one loss of control. All right, so that's uh, we're still at two one on the board here. Asger to your right, Peepo to your left. It oh, and there's a class. Oh. What do you know? It's it's an assortment of points being scored. Okay, so that brings us to in this championship, twelve clasps and. Eight lots of controls. Lots of controls. So those are my we're right at both of my numbers right now. We're going over. Wow. Asgard with one lessening people, the Italians lead to one goal. So what are we gonna what are we gonna so like every time they clask, we have to take a drink? Yeah. Okay, all right. And I'm loss good. of control. Loss of control and class, we have to take a drink. And then who, the loser of this has to do what? Like chug a smear off ice or something? Oh, can we ice each other? Is that a thing here? I, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I We're don't think so it's... dumb. Okay, I'm going to ice you. <laughs> That's, yeah, there's not really a surprise there, is no. it? It's... <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think I've been iced in like a decade. Oh, oh look at that goal. Take a sip. That, that was a classic. It, it was a goal, but then he tried to save it. And then dunked it. Okay, all right, so there's another class. So now, Danny, we're at your 13. People wants us to go to round three. You know, Clask is uh, a really nice bar and pub game, like we've said, guys. So if you want to play <laughs> along with us at home, every time the every time one of the players Clasks or loses control. Oh, double biscuits. Double biscuits for people. It's now 5-2. 6-2. Ah, Asger, always with that sense of humor. I thought I, I said, you know, if people was a little bit more audacious and brash, he would do that. Because I know that if it was Asger on the on the he other end, he would have. But he did it on himself. That's humility Ooh. right there. Ooh. What a stop on that ball. Is he gonna, he's going to send the biscuit back. Delivery service. Delivery service right into his angel. Class Cole. Oh, good. Narrowly avoiding, narrowly missing. This one's... Oh. 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 Oh! 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 Wow! <laughs> so close. Oh, no! Oh, boy. This one, this one's been a pretty intense point. You know, it's got definitely got Asger on his seat, as I can imagine, because he needs this one in order to advance, and so does Pipo, obviously. So he, uh, you're correct. He is still on his seat. <laughs> what do you know? On the, I probably meant to say on the I edge know. of his seat. I just wanted to jest you a little bit. Oh. Asker, he's going to be out, and that's going to put Pipo in the game. Is he wearing shorts? Jean shorts. Oh, wait a minute. I thought... No. I thought that was... You went around three. I th oh, I thought that was round three. No. I was looking, I was yes. looking on the screen... Because I saw six three six two. Oh, you thought that was it. no 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 no. This is round three. This is for all the marbles. Okay, all right. I, now we want a five five. All right, all right. Yeah, now 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 we want a five five. And actually, I was looking at my list. Um, I didn't have uh, Asker Asker on mine, which I I wanted him on there. So that was like a Freudian slip, maybe. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I could still. 
out of my five I picked, I could still get the full Monty. You could get the oh! As we're taking oh! the blood there. All right. You know, I think I think Clask needs to come out with their own, which we did one time, um, our own beer, Clask beer that we would take to the conventions and stuff. Oh. Like but people actually gave up. Did you see that? Like he put he his hands out. Done. He's like, "Oh man, no!" And then it he thought it was an oh. out. What kind of oh. what, it, now? If Clask, I think it was an IPA. IPA. I would say, what type of beer do you think Clask would be? Is an IPA? Hey, fun beer facts. Since we're talking about it, um, do you you know why Guinness was invented? I don't think I do, but I think you're gonna tell me. Yeah, I will. So uh, first, the fun story about Ireland. I went to Ireland for the first time a couple years ago. You know how we joke, especially in America, about the Irish being big drinkers, you mm -hmm. know? And within 30 minutes of being in on uh, public transport in Ireland, there's a PSA that's like talking about how good it is for your body not to drink just one day out of seven a week. It's like, oh, it's really great for your body if you just Take, Take one, one day, day off. off. Yeah. And so I was like, wow, you know, they're... they're oh, really that fast. just slid right in there. People, evens the scores at 1-1. One, one. And so it was... Uh, um, Guinness was invented by an Irish Catholic family <laughs> because the Irish like to drink kids so that they wouldn't drink as much. Because have you ever seen someone or gotten drunk off of Guinness? No. Right. It you would, it's, too, it's too heavy. You can't. It's not really that heavy, though. No, it's, it's light. It goes down smooth. I don't know. I... I I've never seen them, but that's what. Uh, oh. And two one there for the for the Dane. He shot. He shot that with a purpose. He knew what he was doing with that shot. The Italian stallion now to follow with a serve. Hopefully he can come and bring something back. He's the Italian Shaq. Are you trying to make a bad free throw joke? No, no. You called him the Italian stallion. He's the shark. What? What do you mean, Shaq? Shark. But you said Shaq. First. I know I have a shit accent. <laughs> were, were you trying to do like an Australian accent? Nope, just from my native land of Massachusetts. <laughs> okay, all right. I, uh, well, your Massachusetts accent, accent is almost as bad as Jason Tam's Australian accent. I think you're just jealous. <laughs> nope. Oh, there's one biscuit on the board. Just the one on Asger kicks it off with, from the, the from the class, and now Peepo set the score. Yeah, I see Peepo's hands have gotten a lot steadier. Usually, I've known him to be a little more shaky Fidgety. as he yep as shaky as he gets into these later levels of play. Ooh. Oh, oh, that's a class. Class, drink. No more classes, okay? Oh, they're saying no more classes, or even two two. <laughs> six, 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 six. <laughs> I mean, that worked for my top four, so. Five, five, guy. Oh, what was oh, that? Did he oh, did he clasp it wait, yet? It didn't, it didn't cross over the center line. Okay, <laughs> yep. So, the serve's going to go over to Peepo. Did, did five, five guy just uh, move, change to six, 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 six? guy? He's, he's, he wants everyone to be away. Oh, we're getting into it. Slowing the pace of play. Ooh. Mm. I didn't expect him to go for the ball, actually. I thought he was going to keep circling around the, the class biscuit. like he was. Yeah. Trying to draw that biscuit out. I'm, I'm like, nervous right now. <laughs> See, I think right now is a, is a great time when, like, a good change-up comes in. You <gasps> Did the biscuit save him? I think it did. I think the because, biscuit saved him. Because technically... Even as, if you dip in, dip out, you dip your toes in, that's still a clask. Yeah, yeah right, but um, I don't think he hit the bottom I don't of the board he, because I think he the of biscuit. the biscuit. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to go swimming in that ocean. That's not good. No, that's... <sighs> Who's going to get this point? This volley is a lot. <laughs> Yep, it's a marathon volley. They're running the marathon, not the sprint anymore. Ooh. All right, who do you think is going to take this point? I'm, I'm, I, I think Asger's going to take this point. What do you think? I think he's going to bone himself. 
You think it? Okay, all right. I'll bet I you. I think he's either gonna get a shot on himself or he's gonna class it. All right. Well, I'll bet you a drink on that. Dude. So, right. so you got people on this one. I'm yep. taking Asger on the marathon point. Those are drinks. <sighs> Ooh, I thought he was gonna get too cute with it. Oh. <clears throat> Got the ball oh, back the in the corner. Rim. Asger now comes up to the front. Pipo playing hard to get, throwing it back and forth. And these guys, I, I don't, it, I feel like they're not even trying to hit the class right now. The crowd's like, hey, we need some action, round, round boys. Two. Gonna, round two of so the we're class. Gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna make our, this is the first double clap double. Cap that we've had. The crowd's like, someone score, someone oh. score. Oh. Right, there it is. Pipo takes it, I drink. Cheers. I'm like sweating for them. <laughs> Both smiling. Both smiling Speaking though. Speaking of sweating, like whatever they did with the air, I feel a lot better. Well, because the air's moving. <laughs> oh, this is worse. It's just getting stagnant. You can have that. I'm not gonna drink anymore. Wow. Pipo. Pipo pulls away, making it a two-point game now, or a two-point. Actually, yeah, a two-point game. He's got a two-point lead and two points away from taking this one home and set or taking this game and sending Asger home. Oh, oh my that's my success! God. No way! Oh, was that some profanity out of Asger's mouth? I didn't hear it. I just saw it. Asger says no talk, which in Danish would in my in my. Ang, 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 English? How, how would you, how would you? Oh, oh my, my people God. one point away how, from a win here and sending Asger back. And how would you, how would you combine Danish and, and American or English together to form a language like? Danglish? Danglish, yes. Like you're, my, oh, Asger with a cheeky one. He's not going home yet, he He's says. He's bringing the 5-5 five, five heat. It's coming. I feel it coming. Oh, Pipo with another and, uh, service Asger error. The serve. They both have had serve errors. Uh, oh, and he takes Woo. a biscuit right off the bat, and so. Oh. oh. Nailed him with a biscuit. Wow, that was cool. Oh, shake it off. Oh my god. Woo! Round three. You know, I'm, it's been so long. I'm trying to remember if Asker's made it to the quarterfinals before, or the semifinals before. You're the. You're... I'm pretty sure he's made it to the. Oh! Oh! This wow! What a match. You, you know. Yeah, we, you called it, Danny. You said that there was going to be more three-game three game games. And we just saw it here. We went three games, and then it was a 5-5. Five, five. Asker came back from behind. What a, what a turn of events there. That was nuts. <laughs> And so, so yeah, this was this was great. We just saw the five five, the favorite situation. Asker's gonna move on. People unfortunately has to go home. What a play by both players. That was fantastic. Come on, guys, head over here. Let's have a little chat near this little trophy of mine. Come on over. Oh my goodness, Filippo, can we start with you? How was that? Uh, it's uh, incredible because I I love this match. Uh, I think it's the best in my in my history. Uh, oh. Compliment to, to Asgard. Thank you so much. It was so good to watch. Wasn't it amazing? Oh! I mean, I don't know. Like, my nerves can't take it. Their nerves can't take it. I don't know how you're coping. It could have gone either way at the end, couldn't it? It was really, really close. Asgard, tell us how you're feeling right now. Oh, it was amazing. I thought uh, Filippo was definitely one of the favorites for the entire title, so I'm super happy to still be here. And it could have gone either way, oh, right? Oh, yes. In theory, but. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. The that confidence is always there. Congratulations, guys. Commiserations, Filippo. <laughs> well played. Massive round of applause, you guys. What a game. It, what a game that was. Little that was. Every second of it. Yeah. Also gonna just say, you lot, stomping the feet and clapping the hands, you're making it worse. It's 
great fun though. Right, let's get on to our third quarterfinal then, shall we? Please give a massive round of applause for Tomek from Poland. It's our reigning world champ. He walks out like he's been here before. He's <laughs> just, just kind of like cool as a cucumber. And facing Tomek in the quarterfinals, it's Martin from Estonia! Yeah, this is, this is, this is definitely Martin. He's got everything to prove and nothing to lose. Loving it, love the crowd support. Okay. We just saw a fantastic match. Hopefully, we're going to see another one from you guys. Very best of luck to you. Please take your seats, and it's over to commentary. Yeah, that last match is going to be tough to top. But uh, as I was saying, Estonia's got some going to going to have a battle upwards battle on their hands. But the cool thing, and he's, he's in a great position. And I think he's going to give Tomek a run for his money. I he's, absolutely do. He's got nothing to lose, everything to gain. You know, and that's that's part of the trouble when you're when when you are defending your title and anything, like everyone's out to get you, and so you got that pressure to Ooh. defend. Please redo. Redo. Oh, what a bummer. Yeah, bummer. Oh, why does it keep getting stuck? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know, so, I don't know, I, I've seen that, I've seen that before in the group play where that happened, and they might have, the refs might have had a special meeting. A on coming that. of the minds. Yeah, because uh, I, I've always done it in tournaments that I've run or when we played. It's just who's ever stayed in the groove yep. would, would, would it's essentially win. But I think the refs this time have said, like, it's got to come to rest. Yep. And that's the only thing that I can think of. I wasn't in on the referee meeting for that, though. Tomek taking first blood now. And, and as I was kind of stating before, you know, that, that can kind of get in your head as a, as a world champ, like knowing that, uh, you know, your expect, the expectations that you have to be the best and perform, you know, where here we have Estonia making their first period. It's like no one expects anything from them. So you get a point on a world champ, like that every, everywhere is up from here. Yep. You're, you're punching up, as they would say in the comedy world. Oh, what a serve, Ooh, wow. too. Oh, another barely, point. Another point for Estonia. Wow. Coming out the gate, wanting to make a statement. Ooh. Oh, both players with a biscuit now. Tomek punches the biscuit or the ball towards the biscuit in Estonia's corner. And now he got the ball back because it went off of the board and is going to serve. Estonia gets rid of the biscuit that was on their side. Wow. And Tomek's first one, making it a tie game 2-2. Two -two. You know, I wonder I, I wonder what Tomek thought going into this as far as, like, what to expect from Estonia. Like, did he... Did he think that they were even that there was even something to question or worry about? Or? Right, are they, are they actually competition? Well, it looks like very much competition. It's two yeah. two, dead even. Even Stevens. Even Estonian. No, that doesn't work. <laughs> trying to come up with a cheeky play on just, words there. Yep, just trying to come up with things. Get creative in the booth. Oh, oh nice oh, shot. Estonia's gonna re that replay was, the lead. Back. That was a sexy shot. We've had three, three sexy shots. Yeah, and, 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 and how, how old is our Estonian player? Oh. Um, Where's our sheets? I got, I got everything out of order, as you called me, paper shredder. I don't know how it happened. <laughs> shredder. Well, let me consult my sheets. Martin. He is... Tomek with an angel now, trying to play around with the ball, see what he's going to do here. We get. I'm surprised he isn't trying to... Get the get the angel out of his class to use that offensively against the the Estonian here. He is twenty eight. Twenty eight. Okay. Oh. Ooh, the biscuit play. Wow. 
keep him on his toes. Man. Yeah, he definitely, he definitely just keeps going back and forth, making them fight for every point. Not giving it, giving it to them easy. Oh, 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 wow. and he gave him the double biscuit point there. This has been an interesting match to watch. It is, it's fun. You have no idea what's going to happen, how they're going to score a point. Yeah, I haven't figured. I, to be honest, I don't think that either player has the other player figured out. Oh. So in that case, I think Tomek was just kind of playing his game instead of playing the player, playing his own his own personal game. Yeah. Estonia set the kick off this first ma this uh, the second round here. We're now the, he takes a biscuit right off the bat too. Wow, a very, very unconventional. Oh, but he loses it. So now the, Tomek's got one and he's got one back in his corner. Are we gonna see Estonia play towards that biscuit? Oh, and he did, oh. but knocked it out. Wow, that's a great shot. Both players with a slight loss of control, but regained it. And then, what's... Whoa! That was a... Tomek put it. A lot has happened there, and I, I can't I can't commentate fast enough to, to, to talk about what just happened there. So both players now with a biscuit, aiming to score a goal now. Unless one of the biscuits are disembarked or disembarked from <laughs> They're their They're going strike. on a journey. They're like, we're done on this striker. I want to check out that one. <laughs> Oh, nice shot. All right, Tomek taking the 2-0 lead now, increasing ever so slightly. Shake it off, Estonia. I'd love to see a round three between these two. Yeah. Ah, there it is. Nice. I mean, to Tomek has also become a good a good friend of mine, and, and his wife, Asha, is awesome and amazing. And so, you know, it sucks you... you, you you always want to root for your friends, and, and you hate to see anything poor happen to your friends, but at the same time, I am also... Love good want, competition. Want, love good competition and love a good underdog story. Mm -hmm. so, oh, oh, in and out. What are you going to do with that biscuit over there? Send it back? Oh, oh no! No, he did it to himself. <laughs> Ooh. Got rid of the biscuit. He's trying to get rid of that one too. Yep. I wonder. I wonder if he's. I, I, honestly, I wonder if he's doing that on purpose because uh, I've seen him get rid of quite a few of them just off the board. He just n one less thing to worry about. He's probably yeah. all about ball play right now. Get rid of the extra elements. Oh my God! There's been so many times that ball has gone oh, in the hole. No. Oh, there it was. That's a great shot too. And I mean, that is a strategy of play. Like, if you are not as skilled with the biscuits or if you feel that your opponent is more skilled than you... Get rid one, of them. Yeah, just get them off the board so that it doesn't even become a factor, and then you're just working on goals. Whoa! Ooh. Man, Tomek really hammering it in right now, increasing his lead by four. It is now 5-1. Poland in the lead. Estonia with some ground to make up. Ooh, Ooh, got it back. And oh, man! So, oh, and it's off. <laughs> that that one, I feel like we we, we didn't comment it. We were just like, oh, 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 I, it, it, hey, whoa. oh! Wait, it wasn't a valid serve. Not a valid serve. Tomek's gonna get the serve this next point. Oh my god, I thought that was going in. <laughs> oh. Oh my goodness, I'm like stressed about this volley right now. It's been a pretty it's been pretty good and it's only going to continue to get better from here with the competition. Oh, but now he's got a chance like that. He loses his biscuit Sends and it now back. he's Oh! oh hey. boy. Instead he got it with the ball instead of the biscuit. I thought for sure he was going to focus primarily on a biscuit point there, but that's uh, when they zig, you zag. And he zigged and zagged. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Yeah. Oh, my 
goodness. Are we going to see This could three. be a massive comeback. He's got momentum heading his way. He needs to get I think if he points. gets one more point, he is going to see have a massive swing in just morale. And I think we're going to see a, a, the opportunity, a greater opportunity for a greater comeback. Got rid of the biscuit. So now it's just the goals. And, and that's primarily, I've noticed it with his game, is, Ooh, ooh Tomek with a good back swipe. Oh, oh, over the clash is a little too hard. Estonia trying to do whatever they can, playing a really good high guard. Oh! Oh! And he's oh! creeping. What a show that what a showing that we're having. His, this is amazing. His shots were so precise in that last one. Just like really, really going for it. And the defense from Poland was Fantastic. Let's go, Estonia. Oh wow. Come on, Estonia. Let's I wanna see you come back from this one. He would be coming back from a one five game. Oh, oh! But there it is. Great match. Great oh! Estonia right now. Oh! 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 What you did and what you put up. I mean you just went up against the world champ. And like I said, for their first ever showing in the world championship. What an amazing job. They made it to the uh, the quarterfinals, and then here you are playing against the current world champion and giving him a run for his money, scoring a good amount of points against them. Wow, Estonia, great. And he put on a show and should be fully proud of what he just walked away from because that was a fantastic match to watch. And that comeback, wow, got to hand it to Estonia on that one. Amazing work, you guys. Come over here to the podium. Let's have a little chat, shall we? Really, really, really good. Come and stand on this side for me. That's it. Uh, first of all, Tomek, how are you feeling? Take the microphone and tell us. Now I feel so good. <laughs> He's so soft-spoken. You did it! Yes, I did it. But the most important is that we can play now. I loved it. Honestly, it was a really, really oh. great, great, great game to watch. And Martin, how are you feeling? Because it felt like you were just whipping that around, trying to sort of keep up, and you did so well to pull it back at the end there. I enjoyed the game. I felt uh, at times that I had a chance. Yeah. But, uh, oh, he definitely did. Last game, uh, he went too far ahead, so it was a bit difficult to come back. But uh, overall, it's just, just a great experience. Yeah, and honestly, I think you should be very, very proud of that performance as well. I think on another night, it could have gone a completely different way. So congratulations to you both. And Dweck, we'll see you in the semi. <laughs> Round of applause, everybody. <laughs> oh, there you are. Right, we are whipping the through the quarterfinals. It's time to find out who's going to be our last opponent to make it into the semi. So, please give a massive round of applause for Japan's Kohei, everybody! Hey, yeah, who is Kohei playing against here? You see, oh yeah. I'll put a cock in my room. Yep. Sure. I feel like we could be in for a real treat right now. So, guys, very best of luck to you. Let's see who's going to make it through to the semis. Please take your seats. Man, Kohei is... Uh, oh, got the butt pad. Got the butt pad. Kohei is such a competitor when it comes here. And, and, and you know, I don't know how much UC has played against Kohei because UC... Didn't get he, he didn't go to Sauna Island. I think he had some family stuff he was doing. He just got outside here this morning. Really. Yeah. So I don't think he's had as many warm ups against the competitors and stuff. So I'm curious to know how many games he's played or how, how he feels he does against Kohei. Well, he wins the flick off. It's a flick off. And then he's gonna and so now he's gonna he's gonna start out scoring or with the serve here. And this is gonna be really interesting because I know how UC plays and Ooh. Kohei's gonna take first blood. I can't really say if that was like super strategic, but he just hit the biscuit as the ball was going. So that was that was still a great play. And I, I really want to. I'm curious. To, oh. oh wow! Wow, those were two quick points. Yes, they were. And he shot it on himself. It was off his backboard. Yeah. Wow. Oh. 
Traps the ball. Nice. Oh, he, oh. oh UC uses he, the biscuit to get the, the ball, ball back in con- in his own control. And then Kohei gets swipes the biscuits off the board. And now we we now we just have a ball game, folks. Oh, was that a taunt? I don't know what that was, was actually. Taunt? But, that like but you know what? I've I've never seen that before, and I wonder. I, I could I could wow. see where that would be utilized just to throw your opponent off a little bit. You know, I mean, it threw me off. Yeah, and I wasn't and I wasn't even playing the point. I was just talking about it. I feel like you're. Oh wow! 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 Uh, what is happening in this game right now? <laughs> This is just some fast-paced class. And, ter- and I'm not saying like they're all over the board or anything, but they're just like quick points, especially Ooh. from Kohei's side of the of the camp here. He's trying to get that biscuit on him. It it is really interesting to watch him play. Like in the point in one of the points earlier, UC had all the biscuits in Kohei's back right corner. That was a great and- biscuit evasion. Wow, that was a great play. It was, and UC, and 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 then Co- UC was trying to fling biscuits at Kohei, and then Kohei just avoided the ball and just kind of focused on avoiding the biscuits that UC was throwing at him. Yeah. He's going for it. Ooh, man, swift. Oh, we got we got the slow clap, clap going. I don't think we need the slow clap. I can I can I can tell you right now that if Japan wins this world championship, I think this game is going to blow up in Japan. Lose it. Because when 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 Japan gets a hold of something, especially something that's like, I I don't want to be sound cliche, but just like unique and small, like it just goes viral. Goes nuts. Yeah. And so, if Kohei, Ooh. if Ko- I, I think it would be really great for the game in, in general and Japan if Kohei were to potentially see see him in the finals. I and think he- he's already doing wow, round one. To Kohei. I already think he's doing wonderful things with this game in Japan. Just being here and then getting to where he is right now, like I, I think, regardless if he takes the full championship, he, he's doing a lot for the sport. We're gonna call it a sport. He's yeah. doing a lot for the sport in Japan. Hey, if curling is a sport. Clask is a sport. I really want to learn how to play curling. I, it's on my list. Oh, oh you see. That was, it was a straight shot in. And yeah, I tell you, UC does that a lot. He does just a straight serve, and he gets me with that all oh, the time. A trifecta. Yeah. I want, oh, oh. Okay, so. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, good save there. He saved it and then got control to stop the ball from going in. That uh, So nimble with the fingers. Oh. oh, and then Kohei bounces one out as well. Now we got UC on the defensive here because he's got one biscuit on him, but there's no biscuits in play. So uh, I've just see, I just see right now that Kohei has kind of been in control of the match. He, he is controlling the match right now. And something I want you, to, you guys to take note of uh, at home and, and Danny too, I want you to t- kind of take your eyes away from the board a little bit, at, but look at their, their wrists and their hands. <laughs> On this next point, watch watch how just like calm and methodical Kohei looks. And then look at you see, it's, it's a little more erratic, intense, yeah. I see. He's just smooth. I, that's the word I was looking for. Smooth. Kohei he's, is he's just smooth. He's confident in his skill. Well, we were saying that earlier. Like yeah. he is very confident in his. Ah! Ability. Like see, and, and also, like I just get the feeling too that the nerves really aren't that much of a thing for Kohei. Like he's down no. two points right now. Oh, oh no. man! Look, look at no no shakiness in his hands or anything. He came here. He came here with the purpose, and he is it is showing. He also has nicely manicured fingers. Yes. <laughs> but you see, you see, you see, he's 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 all over. The, which is also a style. I, that's the style I like to play. I like to constantly not be. I like to be constantly moving. moving. Yeah. And and Kohei, he does move a little bit, but you'll see him. See now he's just stopped okay. waiting. He's reactionary. He's not. He's not. He wants to see what you do first. Wow. 
Had one in and out. No one in trouble of being of getting a biscuit point. So wow. now there it is. Biscuits are back on the board. Oh, he was so proud of that one. The fist pump. Have we seen? Have we, we? It's been a minute since we've seen a class girl loss of control. Yeah, we didn't have one last round. Where Where are we at with that? We're still at twelve and eight. Yeah. So if we don't see another one, the rest of another one of those either. Or you, either one of those, the rest to, you, of the match. Oh, that was a big biscuit move. He shot all of them. Oh, you see. I think you see got distracted by the biscuit there because he didn't even attempt to make the play at the ball. Hey, easy, you see. Can they hear us? Maybe they can. Oh, they okay. Yeah, I just got I just got confirmation from the referees that they can hear us. That's gonna change how I do things going forward. <laughs> All right. So now Kohei here set the serve three two Japan leading Finland by one, and he regains control after a slight loss of control there. You see playing to the middle of the board, I'm seeing a lot. Like, he's staying right in between the A and the S, and, and kind of that right side K of the class. I, I see when he's when he's guarding. Ooh, I don't know if that was a mess up by Kohei or what. And then you see with the angel, I think he's going to leave it there because he's, he's got the one biscuit on him. Just has to avoid getting too close to his class in order to pick up that uh, that angel and turn it into a biscuit point. You'd never want that to happen. What is oh? oh. And and you know that's what I was, I was like. What is Kohei trying to set up? He's trying to set something up. Yes, yes, yes. So Kohei took the first game 6-4, and now Yusi's trailing two behind 2-4 two by two points. So he needs to make up a little bit of ground. Picks up a biscuit there in the attempt to play it. And now Kohei slowly, gingerly tapping the ball against the side to try and set up his shot. Controlling it right there. You see, taking a lot of his shots. It seems from the from the from the front of the board or the top of the board versus the back or the middle of the board. Wow. He's right for the ball. Mm. Both players in good spirits because they're both great sports. You know, the Finns, the Finns are, are, are really humble people. And unfortunately, that's going to do it for Finland this time. That was fun to watch. Yeah, we're going to see. We are definitely, I think, going to see Kohei in the finals. That's, a, that's my prediction. Absolutely. He's playing an amazing game. Great performance by UC2, putting on quite the show for Finland and the hometown crowd here. He's got to walk away from this one really proud, too. I mean, coming in, not having the, the practice that all the players did, I'm really happy for him and excited. And that was fantastic to watch. I had no idea what was going to happen next. Over here by the podium and the trophy of glory. Come and stand this side for me. That's it. Look out this way. Love that. You see, let's start with you first of all. Congratulations. It was such a good game to watch. How do you feel? Uh, not so good. I wanted to win, but he plays super good. He he's good. Yeah, yeah. I really felt like you gave him a really good run for his money, though, as well. I tried my best. Thank you. Yeah, you did. You really did. And, and um, Kohei, I know you can't speak English, uh, but um, are we happy? <laughs> yes, oh, I'm so happy. Good, I'm uh, glad you are happy. Did you want to say anything in Japanese? Oh, Japanese? Yeah. Eh, uh, eh. I don't know what he said, but I think it was something good. <laughs> Congratulations, you guys. Kohei, we will see you in the semis. And right now, you guys, we're actually going to take a five-minute break because I think everybody here might need a little wee. Um, we will be back in five minutes' time, so stay with us, and we're going to leave you with some highlights from the quarterfinals. Secretly, Kohei said something, like, really evil. <laughs> Jeff, like...
Yeah. <laughs> All right, so here we got some replays of the highlights coming up here. Oh, oh it's our favorite game, Guess Who's Playing. Oh, I love this game. Yeah, guess who's playing because we don't have time to figure it out on the fly. We, You know what? I'm going to get really good at guessing the player's arm hair uh, configurations no, we here. we start doing it based off the manicure. Well, but I, I can't always see their fingernails. I can see, this but I can true. see their arm hair. Pepo, Pepo's the only one that I can really always distinct. tell. Distinct. He's, he's got the distinct wrist there. There were so many classes that game. There was. There was a oh, lot of them. There's another one. Oh, are we just highlighting all of Asker's classes? <laughs> <laughs> we might, uh, I think Asker might get a new nickname, Klasker, <laughs> after this one. And, 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 or The Klask Wizard. He's the, yeah, I think I, we should have been keeping track of who also was had the, the class so that we could here? see, like, who had the most Klasks. Wow. That, that celebration dance. How did I miss that? I thought I, he was going to pick him up there. <laughs> That sounds like a people thing to do. There's one that looks like, it, yep, there's Poland versus Estonia. That was the end of round of game one. Oh, this it, is the comeback. He, I think it was like four points in a row, three points in a row. Yep, this is where he starts to make the this is where he starts to make the comeback. And unfortunately for Estonia, he didn't quite get there, but really gave it a mad run for the money. As you can see there, he he made it to four five, and. This is, I think this right here is where Tomek where finishes it. it. Yep. That yeah. was a great round. It was great showing by Estonia. Like I said, you can't walk away dissatisfied with that. Okay, uh, I don't know why he played it. Because I forget he's back into Oh, yes, yeah, well, okay, okay. All right, so there we go. Now we're back to UC and, and <laughs> Kohei here. Ooh, that was, that was that right straight hole. shot in right for the hole. And, you know, played a very vicious game there. And UC did all he could do, but it just wasn't enough. And But he did put on a great showing there. For the, we got, you got to give it up for the new father. <laughs> Kohei just looking around. Just relishing. Yep, and then we got, uh, so, so right now we've seen some awesome, amazing play going on in these rounds. I mean, we're going to be heading into now the uh, the semifinals, right? Semifinals, yeah. So we have, oh, hold on, refreshing, refreshing my page. We have Luigi versus Asker. Yep. And then Tomek versus Kohei. And, 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 and we just got... Hype. I think that was because Ben said whoever didn't get hype, he was going to take a whip to after the show. That's so. a brutal punishment. But hey, leave it to Ben to, uh, to, 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 to instead, there's two ways you can lead, right? You can lead with love or with fear. And Ben's the type of guy... He, I feel like he might be a good mix of both at this point because he is a very loving man, and this might be the first time I've heard of the whippings. <laughs> oh. Oh, look at that. We're on TV. Hey. <laughs> it's, uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, I'm, actually, I'm Kev, and then this is Danny. Hey. We're in the box. They put us in a box together. That's and dangerous. Not, thank God now that it has AC or, or is at this least what we're calling airflow. AC. I well, yeah, it's not really AC. I think if we had like a, a bucket of ice, it would be better than. I'll say to be fair, it is much better than it was before. Oh God, it was bad. I mean, you wouldn't think it, but these these little lights up they there are projecting some heat. Yeah, but we need them. Otherwise, we can't see our smiling faces. And you throw that in. It's not a strobe. Uh, we got a raven here. With at least yeah. You, you know, you know. Did you know that Darude Sandstorm is from Finland? I actually didn't know that. And if you watch the video, um, it was all shot in Finland, and so like the where there's all the steps and everything, like that building yeah. right here in Finland, the, all the alleyways. That like, was there. Yeah, the whole the whole the I whole thing go. was shot in Finland. Now I need to go back and watch. Let's go check it out. It's been a bit since I've revisited the uh, sandstorm. There, you are noshing these chocolates. Hey, these are really good. Again, hey, uh, hats off and thank you to the to the Norwegians for these chocolates. Bolch and his brother, uh, what is his brother's name? I can't remember. I didn't catch it last night. We played some games last night, mm. and I actually didn't catch their name, and I feel bad now because I like to introduce myself and 
remember people, and I don't think I actually caught their name. Well, it's uh, I, I, I got a lot of the names, but there's just, especially when you have nine new countries and then they bring their partners and you're trying to, you, you, you're trying to learn, first of all, the players' names. Mm-hmm. Though That's like... And make, sure you, and make sure you don't butcher them. And and on top of that, being American, and what are what are the things that we're horrible at? Geography. And Speak for yourself on that one, all right? Okay. Wh- where's... Don't, don't quiz me right now, because I'm not horrible, but I feel like I can hold my own a little bit. Okay. Where's uh, where's Estonia? Uh, directly below us. Okay. Like, di- directly below us. Okay, like, take I'll, a ferry I'll, I'll across. I'll give you that one. And then what about Latvia? Uh... Is that to the east of Estonia? It's close to it's close to Russia. Like like southwest, I think. I think it's southwest of, of Estonia. It, it borders Russia. But yeah, it, and 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 I think it borders Estonia too. Bring up the map. <laughs> <laughs> map. What's a, what was it with the, the door of the explorer? How to go? Like yeah. was it, you had to first call up backpack and backpack. then call up map. Backpack, uh, backpack. And then Swiper would always try and steal it. Ooh. Yeah, swipe or no swiping. Again with the chocolate. So, are we going to be broadcast to the audience again next time? I don't know. I, have we? Been, I wonder if we've been broadcast to the audience the entire time. Because I feel like it might be a, a bit of a distraction for players. Yeah, I mean, we haven't been talking shit or anything, but no, but we've definitely uh, you know, just like talking about their play style and everything. Like, wow, that really sucked. <laughs> what were they thinking? <laughs> yeah, what's he? <laughs> He's, he really just can't get it together on this one, and boy, I, that's really got to be getting in his head. <laughs> and if that isn't, we are. Yeah. <laughs> we did have our beer delivery service. Yes, thank goodness. They did bring Coca-Cola, but we have opted not for that one. No, you know, maybe if we had some rum or something, some spiced rum to throw in there. You know what I just thought of? We also didn't have a Clask or a Lost Control that last game. Yeah, uh, I. Yeah, we. Well, Asger was the last one that we had. Wow, he's really setting the tone. Know what else match we have coming up? Hmm. We have Kohei and Tomek. No. Yeah. That's not the final. Show me the. Show me the bracket. So the, bra- the bracket. Yeah. Let's see. Luigi. So, so we got Luigi and Asger. Okay. Yep. And, and then- Tomek and Kohei. Kohei. Oh my goodness! I didn't know that. I, I guess I didn't know where we were in the brackets, and that's going to be it's quite been. interesting. What's up? Uh, just to look remind you, you guys have fucking smashed it, by the way. Really, really enjoying it. Uh, best of five for the final. Okay. Um, doing one on schedule. Have you guys got any questions for me? Is there anything Are we going to be broadcasting to everyone? What do you mean? Like, Are we broadcasting audience? to the audience? Not at this moment, because I was talking to them and I needed to... Think. Well, no, but, oh. when, but during the match. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we so you got that message. Yeah, yeah. No, you, you but, but I was told then we, that we, we weren't. We told we weren't doing that. Uh, at the beginning, but you've been you've been broadcasting to everyone. Oh there. shit! Yeah. But never, you guys have been really good. Like no, like it's all been. I just, I, well, I, know, that, but I just it, don't want to get in anyone's head because of. Yeah. The... Yeah. Uh, I'll go for the normal. 
Dann muss er jetzt Weltmeister werden. Ja, ja, ich hab. Ich bin so vorsichtig. Ich hab sogar gesagt, ich liebe dich, Aska. Wir sind jetzt Aska-Fans. Also Jussi, Aska, wir sind Jussi weg. Das ist ja Priorität. Aska ist jetzt der Italien-Killer. Ja, hat aber gut gespielt. Also hat schon gut Glück gehabt, aber ja, ist halt so. Ist halt klar. Aber. Ich glaube, er freut sich schon. Also, ich könnte es nicht. Ja. 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 Shouts for the players to come out and for the games. We are going to go back live in hopefully less than a minute. Um, but yeah, let's have it.
confirmation for everyone here. We are going to be doing for the. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Hello, and welcome back to the Class World Championships 2023. We're live from Helsinki in Finland, everybody! And dropping it! The energy we need it! And guess what? We have made it to the semi-finals. The quarters was full of thrills and spills, may I just say, and we've arrived with our four opponents who are going to take on each other. I can give you those names right now. We have got Tomek from Poland. We've got Kohei from Japan. We've got Askar from Denmark and Luigi from Italy. And we're going to see who makes it through to that all-important final. We're going to waste no time at all and get on with the very first semi. So please give a massive round of applause to Luigi from Italy! <laughs> has just grown and grown and grown. We are having a great time and we cannot wait to see which of you is going to make it through to the final. So boys, best of luck for this. I'm going to hand you to your seats and hand you over to our lovely commentators for more. <laughs> All right, this is going to be quite the matchup. We've got some Barons, the heavy hitters here. And this is, like I said, this is... Part of what I wanted to see, I wanted to see Asger make it. Like, he's kind of been, he, he's been here for many, many years. All of the, made it to all of the world championships. And so my vote from the very beginning was was kind of for Asger. So I'm happy to see that he's made it this far. I think this is the farthest he's ever made it. 
And wait, he's on both of our lists to make it this far. Yes, yeah, he he, he was in our top. He was in our top five. Is who we thought we were going to be here. Asger, uh, as far as he goes, some of his accomplishments. He's the four-time Danish champion, one-time German champion, one-time Spiel Essen champion, and the only person to have attended all world championships. That's a lot of accolades. That's a big list. And there he goes. Luigi takes a couple biscuits to himself, trying to flick them, and that's going to give Asger the 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 run. The, the run and gun lead there by one point. Now let's uh, let's pull up the sheet on Rayon. Luigi himself, he's the Italian champion in 2018 and 2023. Five Classic Italia tournaments won. He's the winner of the World Class Federation World Cup in Manchester 2018. Ooh. And the Italian team That's champion, point. HA Classic in 2022-2023. And now the score has been evened up. It's 1-1. Asger set the serve, returns it back to himself. Rayon. Ooh. I think that ball saved him from classing. I I don't know. I, it looked like he had pretty good control on it, but it could have, yeah. But now he's got an angel with one biscuit on the line still and two in his zone. Rayon ooh. takes one up and then, ooh, but... That's twice now the ball's gone off on Luigi's side. I know I know I keep saying Rayone and it, it's like, like Daniel came up to me specifically he's like Rayone. And <laughs> it's they're a passionate people. You have them. to say it like that all the time. You have to give it that like with the hand movement. Wow, got rid of that biscuit. He was like, I do not want this here. He's gonna do it again. Don't want it. Take it. Send it. Ooh, oh! oh by Asgard. He set he set himself up for success there and in, in, in confusion of his opponent. I like that. He he went to send the biscuit so that his opponent knew the biscuit was gonna be coming, but he didn't know where the ball was gonna be going. Oh and Rayon answers back in. tick for tat. You take that and I'll take this. Well we're in the semifinals now, we're getting serious. Yup. Mm -hmm. Ball just kind of wobbling around on Asger. Has its own mind. Serve with nothing hit, and Rayon and Asger both with the. Playing the biscuit oh, game again. Oh, man. <laughs> Rayon with the biscuit. <laughs> I didn't see the hand. Yeah. <laughs> it's easier to say when I do have the. the which, hand. Is, which is funny because, you know, you see the Italians and they talk a lot with their hands. It, melts, and it, it makes, helps your mouth move. It, yeah, it makes sense. It's like, uh, it's an animated, very passionate language. I love it. I feel like we're going to see a lot of points from Biscuits. Yeah, both players have been playing the Biscuit points. That one would at least went around one time, but just couldn't stay in. Ooh. And hey, I got to ask, hey, can, I've been burping a lot. Can you smell my burps? No, I can't, fortunately. Okay. No, Thank not that God. we have circulation going. But before, when there wasn't circulation? I wasn't breathing through my nose. Okay. I know better. All right. All right, 3-3. Three, three. Denmark set the serve off. Italy with a great oh, block. Oh, oh, what a play by Italy. Is that a loss of control, too? Do we have to drink on that one? I think that the, the biscuits, biscuits were first. Were first. All right. and, and if we go as the refs go, it's order of operations. We live another day. You know, math. <laughs> Asger with one and an angel and another one in his back left corner. That's going to give Luigi an opportunity Ooh. to shoot one over there for a weird bounce off of it. and But instead, Esker says no way, kicks it over on Luigi's side. And now we got one biscuit free while the other one's attached to Asger. And we got one in his class. Oh, and it it's gone. We just got one angel remaining along with the one on Asger. Rayon got the ball back on his side. Gives a light pass over to Asger. Asger shoots for the side. We got back and forth play off the back wall. Speeding forward and backward. Slowing it down a bit. Oh, I thought Asgore was going to try and pull the biscuit out with that one. Oh. And another ball out on Luigi's side. We haven't had a class yet, though. No class. Asgore must be trying to redeem himself with that one. He's, uh, he had enough of that in his first couple rounds. Oh, oh no, he spoke too, too soon! soon! Drink! Oh. Five, five. <laughs> All right, so there we go. That's uh, 15. 15. 15 class. Oh, we got some biscuit play again. 
And that's going to take Luigi Reone one point away from an Italian victory. This is still the first match. Five? No, 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 they're good. No, no, we're 5 4 right now. Oh, 5 4, yeah, we, we, could, five. we could see it 5 5. Wherever 5 5 guy is out in the audience, he's got he's got to be like on the edge of his seat right now. Just waiting for that moment to yell it. And, and if it happens, I want to hear I want to hear him. Oh, but we're not going to hear him this time. That's a great first round. Now we're going to play musical chairs. Musical chairs. Ask your smile is just contagious. You know, funny story. Uh, you see, you see, uh, Rayone wearing uh, Rayone wearing uh, a shark shirt, and what I don't know if anyone knows what happened. The backstory, but Rayone forgot his luggage. Either, I, either, yeah. He, wow. Oh, that was a classic. We got to put it on our sheet and take a drink. Sixteen. Sixteen. So, yeah, we're at the hotel. We get a phone call from either Daniel or I think Pipo, and it's and they were asking, like, what do they have to do to uh, talk to someone about their luggage? And because Rayonet still does not have his luggage, I don't Wait, think. He, he might be. Oh, nice point. Yeah, I think he forgot. He forgot his bag, like, either in a train or a oh, plane. Bummer. And so. He's wearing people's shirt. He's wearing people's pants. I think he even might be wearing people's underwear right now. So he's this, a, so he's actually people is what you're saying. Yeah. So I, I think if I think if I think if Luigi Reone wins this one, people actually gets an asterisk as part of the victory, as and is Partial co-champion. Win. Yeah, because he wore all of his It'll stuff. It'll just be like Team Italy won. Or or he or or he could have went finish style and just put a towel on for the match. All right, there was many towels last night, and just towels. All right, Ooh. we're back to back at back to the action here on the blue class board. Is it normally a different color? We had to define it as blue. Well, I, I was trying to come up with something funny with the color blue, <laughs> and I just I just I, I couldn't just at blue. the time. Yeah, it is. I was transitioning from Luigi's story, and I, I, I had I got nothing. You no, know I'm really into this blue board right now. We should keep it. You know, some people with the so Mickle. Yeah. Oh. Okay, as I it. Asger needs this one to push it to a game three. I would love to see a game three. But so, so for those of you who don't know, the creator of the game, Mickle, also, uh, cl I believe it's ClaskYourWay.com is his website where you can order custom-made Clask boards. And what really is interesting to me is some people, you know, they put their logos on it or you could, even put, you could put a family photo on it if you wanted to. <laughs> but it's the people who choose Ooh, white. Wow. Oh, wow. Stuck them with the goal Hard and then strike. a biscuit. But the people who choose white as a primary color on the board, I think, are just something else. Yeah, they're they're next level because they, to be able to see the biscuits and everything with like, how fast are, things like, are moving. Who hurt you? That you need a white board. <laughs> yeah. Let's make it ten times harder. What trauma do you need to heal from? <laughs> like this board's gonna get me there. Oh! Oh, lose it! Oh! Did you see that the biscuits like separated and went around, and Asger was able to go right in between them. That was amazing. That was like artistic the way that he did that. So he's gonna get right wow! Him. Oh, oh my gosh! He thought he had it. Yeah, he did. And Ray Owen said, "No way, Jose!" Or, "No way." Don't even try. I don't know what it don't is in Italian. Don't even try. No way, a guy. Hey. Man, oh, what, oh, oh, what a point. He is. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Asker wants a round three. He, he does. Wants, he wants that round three. I want, I want Asker to take it to a round three. And boy, what a point by both players just dancing around that table. Balls in and out of the class. Uh, Asger dancing around. That was like one of the most beautiful biscuit dances I've like, seen. When those two split and he was able to go right through them. Is he going to get rid of this biscuit? I don't know. I don't know if he's going to keep that one to play with it and his opponent and use it as a, as like an obstacle or if he's going to, because, you know, he, I, I don't, he's been playing the biscuits. He's definitely like been playing he, the biscuits. Like he normally, like he normally does. But like I, the wizard I, that he is. But I don't think he's been playing them as aggressively as he has in the past. But still, but still plays them and plays them well. I think that biscuit saved him there. Great angel save. Oh, 
Right now with just the one point lead. Oh, oh Ooh, that almost looked like another angel there. save there. Off the back. I love how excited the audience is right now. It's a, it's a passionate crowd. We've got a great community of class players. And, you know, for those of you out here watching watching the stream, make sure to check out class. You can get it on Amazon if you want. Uh, you can go to your local you can go to your local store. Game stores are having it. If they don't have it, ask them to talk to their distributors about it. I was like, it's even in big box stores nowadays. It is. You can really get it anywhere. And, and, oh, we drink to that. Cheers. And you know, I don't feel bad as a shameless plug at all because it, it, it grows the community and it only makes for, like, you know, think of uh, it, it, Naglas. He's 12 years old and he made it here. Just like, think where the, he's going to be in three years. He's going to be a crush. No, like, I think, I think he did great. And then, and then any of our other younger competitors too, like, oh, oh there's another loss of control. We're up to 10. And a drink. Well, like I was saying earlier, this is just a game that you can teach anyone, and everyone wants to play it. It's, it just has a table presence. When people see you playing it, they're interested. They want to watch it. They want to touch it. They want They want to be a part of it. Yeah, and, and let's not forget about Ingo. 63 years old, in another 37 years, he'll be 100. He'd be our first. Oh, I'm so proud you can do math <laughs> so fast. <laughs> He'd be our first uh, centurion. Yeah. Well, this is getting tight. 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, Asger. Oh, oh, Ray oh nice. two great saves over the top of his class. Oh. Rayone taking, a, biscuit for taking fun. a biscuit for fun and leaving one angel in there. Now he's got himself in a little bit of a situation. I don't know what he's trying to do with this. He's trying to get rid of that biscuit. Okay. I thought he was trying to play it at Asger, but in in oh, doing so, nice he did. save. Spatial awareness is a great skill to, to have on, on this board. And I don't know what would be a good way of practicing that. Just when, play it forever, never, never. Well, yeah, you can play, but I'm also trying to, like, cross-training, you know? Like, how do you how do you cross-train for Clask? You know, like... How do you cross-train for Clask? Um, I, I don't know. That was a great, say, a great backslash by... Italy there, it's knocking it towards their goal to make sure that it doesn't stay. Yeah! But now oh he danced on that wall and hit it with authority. And he said, Woo he came, he saw, he conquered that point. Asger is one point away from taking it to a game three. And this would be then the third or the fourth game three? Fourth game three. Fourth game three. Not that many game threes we've seen this year. Ooh. One biscuit up! Oh. Oh. Asker pushes it to a game three. He is excited. Both players shake hands. This is going the distance, folks. Oh. Asker, he stands up and does like a full body, like Hulk, like just, oh, this is Hulk body. smash. Yeah, he lets people know that he is hype. Yeah, I, I, I love the, the, the playful, um, what's the opposite of toxic? Clean? <laughs> Clean masculinity he brings to the game. Is that a, can we even like coin that as a term? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You're just so clean and masculine. Yeah. You got great hair. Your fingernails are so manicured. No dirt. Actually they both have Asker's, great hands. Asker, you see that his his he's pushing his straight you know, we've seen this a couple of times from this board, and so I wonder On that side specifically. Yeah, see like look see, you see that look at yep. as he's moving around. It's only been that side. All right, there's Alexander the Copen, our head rest re referee with the gloves. That seems to be a little better, but give it a give it a whirl. He's whirling. Taking a couple trips around that hole. Maybe maybe it's the striker. I think they're gonna. Yep, I think they're gonna switch the striker out just to just to try it. Um, like it. <laughs> that's what she said. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Striker. Striker is MVP. the play, player of the match. There we go. 
not dancing or skating around like it was before. We got Dasger with a new striker. He's got to break tired. it in. Put a put. Oh, oh, that's not the way you break the in a striker. It was just hungry. It needed a little bit of bread in its life. Yeah, it was it, hangry. Yeah, it was hangry. It needed some hangry. But now that its appetite has been appeased, he can continue on. And break that thing in properly with a with a straight goal or Ooh. oh my oh, gosh so hungry gobbling those biscuits mouth right. wide open just right. accepting them Luigi Rione taking Asger to the bakery right now we could see a bakery oh I thought that one was maybe gonna sneak right by him because he paused and waited angel save Ray oh no this is the second time we've seen Asger throw his striker. Uh, like He just doesn't even seem to like his strikers. All right, so that's uh, loss of control. There's 11. We drink to that. Oh, boy. Ooh, both have biscuits. I think we're going to see a comeback here. We were talking about that three-point lead before. Oh. And you start to, like, you, you breathe that air of relief. And he might capitalize. Yes! Yes, there we go. Excitement for that one. <laughs> well, I, I didn't want to see him get scuffed. I, mean, so I just wanted to see him score at least one point. Get rid of that biscuit. That was beautifully placed. Mm -hmm. Oh! My goodness! Is the Biscuit Wizard back? We got a match, folks. Well, I think it, it, Rayone took that one. Uh, well, he went to go hit the Biscuit, and he collected, collected one. It. Yeah, but Asger did get him with the first one. Great block by Asger. Oh, slowing the pace down. Biscuit is off, and then another one on Rayone. The yeah, second one's off. Second one's off, so now it's down to the ball. Balls. Yep. Who can score the point? Oh, Rayone can score the point. That was a sexy shot. Mm. Mm. Hey, uh, any, anyone in the audience, please raise your glass. Let's do a let's do a group cheers. Cheers to you guys. All right. Oh. Ooh, I don't know if I like these. All right, Asger's got some ground to make up. It's a let's, we, we got the crowd rooting we, for a 5-5. Five, five. We want to see a 5-5. Five, five. Definitely at this stage, 5-5s five, are always welcome. And I think he can oh. totally bring it there. Oh, oh okay, he's only That's got one. Lot. Yep. And oh, the, the the biscuit came off Rione and went right to Asger. Ooh. Oh, he almost got him, but it rimmed out. Nice shot. Oh, Good defense. defense by Asger in that back corner, slamming it home. Oh, oh no! no! A glass! Oh, my goodness. Wow, so that thing is... Luigi's going to the finals. That means Luigi is going to the finals. What a game by both competitors. I am sad, personally, to see Asger go a little bit. He was he was my boy I was rooting for in the beginning, but I'm really happy for Luigi and Team Italy to continue on in this tournament. But that just means we're going to have to see Asger again next year, and he'll continue his reign as being the only person that has been to every single class ca class championship. Yeah, because then it wouldn't be... It wouldn't be he's got, that can't be his title, though. He's got he's to eventually take it someday. Hold, hold on to it. Hold on to it. <laughs> Thank you guys. Come on over. Let's have a little chat over here. Round of applause for nobody. I do not like That was games. so much fun to watch. I can't even tell you. No, Asuka, let's start thing. with you. How was it? Try it first. Uh, I, I thought I had a chance and it seemed close at some point, but uh, I made too many mistakes. It was really, really close. And there's so many times uh, where you just saw the concentration in your face. And OT, you've yeah. definitely been the showman like of it. the competition today, for sure. And you saw you went a little serious. You went, okay, now's, now's the time. But you did phenomenally, phenomenally well. And congratulations for getting this far. Filippo, <laughs> happy event. Very, very happy this time. We love that. Congratulations. You are going to the final. This little beauty, it could be yours. Do you want to touch it? 
Oh, he doesn't want to doesn't want to jinx it. <laughs> Guys, well done. Give him a round of applause, everybody. So, uh, so our final five are the same now. And right now, we move on to our second semi-final of the this evening. Point. The crowd is uh, loving it. The beers are out. So please give a massive round of applause for Tomek from Poland. A repeat champion. We haven't? No. I didn't know that. Any minute now. There's the lights. We've got lights. And here he comes. It's time for Poland! Action again, one person is going to make it through to the final. So, best of luck to you. Please take your seats and over to the commentators. Oh, yeah, right, because because that was semi final. So, Rione is going to the finals. Yeah. And yeah. whoever wins this match is going, going to the finals. Yep. So, yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, for some reason, I was thinking there was one more. For no, them. this is this is for. And this is this is a big one. This is this is probably what most people kind of expected the the setup to be was. Uh, a Tomek and and I and Kohei matchup. This matchup. And so the is fact going that they're be... meeting each other early means one of them is going to eliminate the other here. I... Which 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 let's be honest, I think is great for Rione Luigi it's because <laughs> I think this match is going to be incredible. I think it's going to be very even, and I'm ex excited to see how it goes down. Yeah, and just uh, from from a personal point, I love Kohei, love his energy, love everything that he brings to the game and everything that he's doing for Japan. That's amazing and awesome. But uh, like I said earlier too, you gotta side with your friends sometimes. And and I, Tomek and his wife Asha have become real good friends of mine, and so I wanna I wanna see my buddy persevere here. But best of luck to both competitors. Ooh. Okay, Tomek with the early bis with the early lead. Making it one nothing coming out the gates, all guns a blazing. Looks like there's a little water or something on the board there. You see that? There, mm -hmm. that little dark spot. Fun. Oh man, biscuits. what a great two biscuits he played, and one of them ends up Sends in angel. Sends the other one over too. I think Koei's gonna send it right back. Yep. Yep, and he loses the one off him. What a great play! Again, not intentional, so no harm, no foul. But that is something that was in the rules for clarification this year is if, if a referee does believe that a player is intentionally removing biscuits, that they can... And, Issue and, a warning. And, and, yeah, or even if it happens just on accident, like more than it seems that it should, it's up to their discretion, mm -hmm. they can say, hey, you get a warning, and then after that, every time it happens after that, biscuit the goes biscuit back goes back on, yes, and then the opponent serves. So no loss of point or anything, but just trying to keep the game fair. Fair biscuit play. I appreciate that. Ooh. You know, this I, I'm, I'm really excited for this. Uh, oh! oh. I, yep, I, yep, I, I kind of thought so too. That was that was close. Dipped, dipped his toe in the pond a little bit. Yep, Tomek that, takes the point. Oh, it off. oh, yeah, we got to take a clask drink there. What are we up to now? We are up to 18. 18. Oh, nice shot. The reigning champion off to a 3-0 lead here. Really, and this is this is where we talked about that little bit of comfort starts to come in. You have three points. The three-point relief. The three-point relief. I like that. The three-point relief. You can start to relax a little bit. But a little aggressive. It, but just, so it just so happens that Kohei isn't going to let it hang on for long. We're missing a biscuit. There it is. You know that's also interesting to if because we had 2018 was oh, the double biscuit double biscuit for Tomac that brings it to 4-1. 2018 I believe was uh, 2017 myself 2018 Pipo 
2019. Wait, no, no, no. In 2018, I think it was Yaroko. Because we had 17, 18, 19, 19. and I don't think we had a 20. Nope. Yeah, because that was the COVID stuff. Yep. So, but so within that, we've never had a repeat world champion. So, is Domek, it going to happen today? Tomac has that. Another, we could see that there. We could see for the first time ever a two-time back-to-back world champion, which would then make them the Tom Brady of class. Oh, we're going right to Tom Brady. Going from one to Tom Brady. <laughs> I love how methodical this play is right now. It is just stopping, thinking, and then striking. Ooh. There's, there's, a, there's a great strike from Kohei. 4-2. Mm. Puts those white gloves out there, cleans the mm, you dirty board, you take that. <laughs> Jeez. Clean yourself up. Wow. Nice oh, neck. Tomek giving a world class welcoming to the semifinals. Oh, Taking the first Tomek. game 6 2. I think Kohei wants a round three. He's. he's oh, this wow. smile, man, just brightens my day. Like, I, I cannot be angry when I'm Kohei. Yep, and you know, the, the, the crowd, you got the crowd rooting for Kohei, which I, I don't blame him. You, everyone loves to root for an underdog. It's his first time again appearing in the world championship at the world stage. So he's putting on quite a performance for a first timer. Oh, he's getting rid of those biscuits. Doesn't, doesn't want to deal with them. Where is my Kohei profile? Ooh. Uh, the strikes. So, uh, I love here that... Uh, uh, oh, uh, there's a class. We got to do a little drinky poo. Number 19. Number 19. Number 19. Um, yeah, so... Oh, sending that biscuit right back. Still one more on the board. I love so, so under under Kohei's player profile. It's, are there any rival players or matchups that stand particularly intense or memorable for you? And I love how he words this: the first match I won against my own master. I, I read that too, and I was like, that is amazing. <laughs> and, I, you know, and, 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 and I said, that, who's that? And it was the first champion. He said uh, um, of one of the class matches. And I said, so would you, that was the semifinals of the Japan tournament 2023. And so I asked him if he would consider them his sensei. And he said, yes. Wow. And uh, as far as it, the sponsor, he doesn't currently have any sponsors, but he says his dream sponsors are Kawatako. And Pokemon. And the Pokemon <laughs> company. I asked him if he had a favorite Pokemon, Pokemon. And I haven't, I haven't played Pokemon in a while. And so... He said, Mesu, do you know? Oh, oh, that was a great shot. Uh, we got, a, we got a, a split chant there. I, I I didn't hear as many as many Tomex. The Kohays are really strong, rooting for the underdog. I heard the a underdog. lot of Tomex, too. Did you? Maybe, I, I hope so. This might be the fan favorite match. Wow. Oh. I agree. I think this is the fan here. You know, you got the. Yeah. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. It's 50 oh, 50 oh, here. Oh, hey, remember your basics. <laughs> 2 1. Tight game. Reigning um, champion. Oh, 2 oh, 2. Like I said, it's very methodical. The Just stopping, thinking, and striking Ooh, with a purpose. Uh, Kohei also has. Ah, oh, the biscuits. I uh, got him with one. That, that 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 coin didn't want to stay in it the three. It did not. It was like this is. I need to keep moving. Get that biscuit out of there. Kohei also has a uh, pet rabbit named. Oh, oh, nice shot. Shot. 
So I think this I, I think this is kind of funny about Kohei. He takes this very seriously it, that when and when asked. Oh. Tomek now getting back to the game he is one point away from eliminating Kohei and continuing on to the finals to defend his title. Kohei really needs to make up some ground here. No biscuits he's, on the board. No biscuits on the boards. I, and I think that's kind of Kohei's game. I think he's... Oh! Striker. Great. Ah, uh, great game by both oh! players. Tomek is going to continue his re continue his reign onto the finals. Loving embrace by both players. Kohei, you can tell, is just really happy to be here. I, I, I also know Tomek is really happy to defend his title in the finals, for sure. One of the happiest players I've ever seen, Kohei. Just puts a smile on my face every time I see him. <laughs> Guys, come on over here. Let's have a little chat. What an amazing semi-final that was. Round of applause, everybody, for our players. <laughs> and it just feels like the pace has got quicker and quicker all evening. Let's start with yourself. How are you feeling? Quite good. Yeah. <laughs> Did you expect this was going to happen? No, no. I thought that he <clears throat> Yeah. Because obviously we know him as being such an amazing player. Yes. Did you think at the beginning of the day maybe you might be able to have that yes, win? Yes, yes, I think. Yeah, you had that, that kind of gut feeling. Yeah. Good for you. Well, congratulations. You are through to the final, which is amazing. And commiserations, Kohei. So sorry. You had all of the support in the audience behind you, didn't you guys? <laughs> they clearly love watching you so much. They really, and we, we've all loved watching you. Is there anything you'd like to say? Okay. Yes, in Japanese, ah. it's fine. Yeah, thank you very much. I thought so. I thought so. Listen, it was fantastic. I hope you're really, really pleased with yourselves. Congratulations. We'll see you soon, Sovek. And give them a round of applause, everybody. Yeah. Really incredible semi-final. I'm going to hand over to our commentators now who are going to take us through some of the highlights. Yep. The background highlights over top of our voices to make you moist is. Really, really leaning into that one. I don't know if we need that. Oh, it's not a lean, it's a hard push. <laughs> oh, dear me. <laughs> So we got, uh, we're, we're going to see the final between Luigi Rione mm -hmm. and Tomek Pruis from Poland. It's Italy versus Poland. And it's interesting. So we, when we first sat down and looked at the top 16, we kind of like made a couple lists in our head, like who we expected to see at the end, you know, who our dream team would be. And Tomek definitely, for both of us, was in our top five. But I don't think we expected Luigi to make it there either. And that's exciting to kind of see someone new and fresh in this top finals. I agree. I couldn't. I couldn't agree anymore. We got. Uh, take over from here. I gotta take this call real quick. Final will be best of five. Okay. Best of five. Okay. Well, that was that. That was also just a reminder too for the people watching back at home that remember the final is going to be a best of five, which is interesting now that I think about this because the Italians love that. That's it. The Italians were really pushing for this best of five because that's what they play in all of their tournaments. I don't think. Or know if Tomek has played a best of five series. He's yet. only ever experienced the best of three. Especially at this level, and I know even at their lower levels, they do the best of five. And oh. I, you know, I, 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 I don't see anything wrong with that. I think that the best of five also does a better job of like identifying who the true better player is. It gives opportunity to kind of learn how your opponent is playing and react to that and adapt to that. I think it gives opportunity for more better play. Yes. Couldn't, couldn't agree more. Um, going back to our list that we made, just to give you guys a little heads up. So We said we were going to keep it a secret, and now, but now, we're, now there. we're here. Now we're there. So uh, Danny had, who do you have here? You read yours so up. So I had Kohei, Tomek, Asker, and Pipo. Pipo. Sorry, yeah. I couldn't read my own handwriting. And Eric. So those were my top five. And then who did you have winning? I had Kohei winning, actually. 
And then I had I had Kohei in the finals along with UC Pipo, uh, Eric Wilson, and Tomek as well with Tomek winning. Then we also had our Dream Four that we said like for the last four semifinals. And our Dream Fours are I, I still it's still kind of dreamy. So I had Asker, Eric, uh, what, UC, and. Vendel. So it was more of like I want to see some fresh faces in here. I want to see some young faces in here, but also the people that bring the heat as well. So I was looking for like dynamic, and they all played incredibly well. Yeah, and then we had uh, we had Jason Tam, Kohei, People, and Vendel on the on the other one there. And oh, we swapped it. I think yeah, I think <laughs> we, we swapped did. it. I was just trying. I was just trying to riff and roll. That was good. That was a good one. Uh, but so again. Uh, Luigi Rione did not end up on any of our lists, no. and that's not to say that we that anything bad in any way. But it was just surprising to see. And to, it's a nice surprise. It keeps us on our toes. It keeps us like wanting more and like, what is he going to do now? And I, I I cannot wait to watch this match and see what he brings to it because we know what Toma can bring. Like he, yeah, he's, he's, our he's already champ. brought it. He's our champ right now. So like to see someone different. I, I am very much looking forward to this opposition between the two. And that's, and the, again, that's kind of the beauty of Class 2 is so we had, uh, the, you know, we had these the, these picks and up pops someone that none of us had on our radar. Yeah, our Here fantasy is. team is confused. Our yeah, fantasy, team's our, like, our fantasy team was not now. looking good. No. we. And so <laughs> then now you have, that, that's the beauty of Class because you can have, what, you can have a, a bottom seed take out a top seed and, and just dominate the tournament and vice versa so you can really take cl- take the game class and, and and really end up anywhere with it in terms of uh, a lot of these players have only been playing for even a year and mm-hmm. they're making it to the world stage in that time frame. Okay, we had a brief pause there. We had some <laughs> we had some talking in our headphones, letting us know what's going to happen here. So what it sounds like is that the finals are going to continue progress, progress here in a little bit. So while everyone's getting some things kind of set up, we're going to continue talking for a moment or two to give them a TV timeout. I think she is good to go. <laughs> oh, okay, they might even be giving the players a time to rest up a little bit before to the yeah. Before the next match. I mean, Tomek just played, and now he's got to play another five. So, predictions on how many Clasks. Oh, let's do that. Yeah, let's, let's have so a little we, fun. So, this is going to come down to it, because we kind of we lowballed ourselves with an overall. Yeah. And we saw a little bit more. So, how many Clasks and how in many... In the best of five. In the best of five. Yeah. And so how class. many loss of controls are we expecting? Class loss of controls. And you know what? Let's keep track of biscuit points, too. I like that. I like that. Down of regular points, biscuit points, and so, so we got biscuits, and then we got regular points. So, Danny, what do you think? What do you think for class? How many class overall are we going to see? Four. Four. Okay. And two. I. I got my. I got okay, my okay, points. okay. She's got her numbers. She's just gonna roll with them. So we got loss of control. <laughs> Welcome back. It is time. Thank you very much to the commentators over there. Thank you very much and welcome back. We are about ready for the final of the Classic World Championships 2023. We've had the most phenomenal evening of Classic action. I've seen things that I've never seen before. I've only ever seen them on YouTube. I've seen them in real life right now. It's very, very exciting. We have got two incredible finalists lined up, ready for you. So let's, without further ado, get them on, shall we? Please welcome, from Italy, Luigi Raione! Welcome! Now, I feel like Luigi has got a slight advantage, had a little bit of a rest, but please welcome, take him on. He's back again, it's to make for us from Poland! <laughs> welcome back. This is one very excited audience, and they should be even more excited because for the first time in class history, we're going to be playing a final 
of five games because we've enjoyed them so much. We're going to do some more for you, so sit tight. This is the final 2023. Gentlemen, please take your seats and the very best of luck to you. Over to our commentators. So during the break, yeah, okay. Danny and I broke down what we think we're going to, for points, we're going, so we're going to see, Danny says we're going to see four classes over this course of five games. We're going to see two loss of controls and ten biscuit points. The rest then would be regular points. goals. And I say we're going to see two class during this best of five, three loss of controls and 15 biscuit points. So we're going to see how, how close we actually are here. Handshake. Handshake. It's good to go. I missed the flick off, so I didn't. Okay. All right. So off to a start here. Rayon. Oh, wow. Look at that. He transferred. Oh, oh, and then Tomek first across, first blood. Tomek takes an early biscuit to start things off along with they Rayon. Both they both have biscuits, and oh. one is around the left side of the board. Oh. Tomek, if anyone hasn't noticed, uh, is a left-handed player. I think the only left-handed nope, player. There's two. Oh. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah, Jason, yeah, both Adam. of the, Adam, Adam is a left-handed player as well, so the, the both of the Polish are left-handed players, are left -handed. Ooh, almost had a loss of control, Luigi lines oh. it up, Ooh, and he oh. almost got one in, it just slipped out, rimmed around the edge, next time maybe Sends he just needs back. to spin on it a little bit. Ooh, Ooh, taking the biscuit. There's none on the board, so he has nothing else to worry about. Oh, Rayone oh. now taking the lead. And again, I, I'm just very curious to see how this is going to change play for Tomek, because he's got to go a little bit more of the distance. It's, the it's best more of a marathon, it's, it's not a sprint. But also, the cool thing about this, too, is you can you can completely go. Oh. Oh. That's a biscuit. Right. Our first biscuit point. So you can mess up on your first game and completely, for whatever reason, just and blow up, and you still know that you have plenty they of games to Another left. biscuit point there. Biscuit point with Tomek. Yeah, the first game kind of gets you into it, and you know there's plenty more opportunity for you to come back into it. Again, we got Luigi with a biscuit on him. Tomek has had two biscuit points he so sends far. It right on over. And does a great job avoiding that one. I thought that one was definitely too close for comfort, the way it was mo he moving so around too. the board is like that. And he hits the biscuit into the ball, leaving it back in the corner. Also has an angel on the field. One goes in and out. I think that angel just saved one for him. Wow. And even the scores, 3-3. Three, three. Yeah. Got an angel for Tomek and both players with the biscuit. Oh, and the biscuit is out. Is it, he's an angel save. It went from angel to angel. All off the ball. Tomek eradicates the biscuit from his striker. And now they're back at it, going for the goal. Luigi just, goal shot. Luigi just has to avoid collecting the biscuit on his striker. Oh! But he doesn't have to worry about it with a shot like that. He, that, that. Now he takes the lead against the former world champ. He says, get rid of those biscuits. I do not want them. Yep. There we go. Oh, Just down to the goal. Excellent. And then, and this would be, as I said before, the first time if, hold on, let me think about this before I make this comment, because I want to make sure that I'm correct. Oh. Right, so Luigi making a big showing because 
as much of a force as in Italy is in the in the world scene, they have yet to bring home a World Cup. And so Luigi right now. It, it, oh! Oh! oh my God! Yeah, he's playing the biscuit game. Luigi's good. It's just going right for the shots. We didn't have we didn't have any we didn't have any classics or loss of controls yet. So no. Nope. We just got three biscuit playing points clean. by the oh! right here and another biscuit point. I saw Ingo with a 6-6 six, six chant there. We all can't get trophies, okay? I, I think in his age he forgot that it's the first two six. All right. Oh, he loses a biscuit but then picks one right back up. And then, oh, what a move Narrowly by Tomek. This is that one. And the biscuit's off, so it's going to come down to a goal now, folks. That's what each player is looking for. They're searching to see who can land that ball I right in the bottom of their opponent's oh. glass. Luigi's not having the biscuit game. Oh. Tomek loses his biscuit. That didn't matter anyway. And, oh, almost the loss of control. Tomek traps it in the corner. Great oh. In and out. Both players have been, they're getting excited, and they're hitting them hard, and they're knocking them out. See right there? Again, in another again. in and out. So that's the thing about class two, you need a little bit of finesse, finesse. because if you do it too hard, you're gonna knock the ball out of the hole. Oh! Oh! My goodness, there's just back and forth, in and out, in and out. What's it gonna come down to? Oh! Italy, Italy takes the first match against the current reigning world champion. Oh! Very exciting. So there's, so again, there's a lot on the line here in the sense of Tomek trying to be the first defending champion to retain the title two years in a row. And for Luigi, this would then give Italy their first world championship Bring title. Italy. And five, five again. Five, five. All right, no biscuits to be had on this one right now. It's a new setup, new game. We got Italy up one nothing in the series of five. Poland looking to come back. 0-0 zero, zero right now. Who's going to draw first blood? It's going to come down to a goal because all the biscuits are off the table unless someone classed or loses in control. Out. Another in and out. That's We I, should have started keeping yeah. stats on that one. Contra yeah, stats on how many in and outs there were. We'd already be up to seven or eight. And... A majority of them would be Tomex, I feel. And I don't think we have enough beer for that one. No. <laughs> but still have not seen a loss of control from or either of these two champions or a class. Or a class. Oh, in and out again. Oh, oh in and out of his own. His butt. <laughs> He used he used his own offensive move as a defense to keep that one from going in. Ooh, I, Luigi got loose there. Oh, I again. Loose again. Oh, wow! Oh, the back of the world champion. Come on, this, gets, this gets back yeah, on the board. It's five sets. Everything is okay. Oh, I love the encouragement. <laughs> There's, there, there's so much to watch, especially with these new sexy biscuits. The way they travel across the skin. There's a biscuit. There's the first biscuit point by Luigi. By Luigi. Oh, that was close. I looked at the ref on that one. I I, I didn't know. It sounded close, but they're gonna continue play. You know, in, in the sense that that is also one thing that I love about the game class, is especially at these competitive levels, is they, it's oh what man, what a save! What a save! Yeah, well, it's kind of like baseball and how baseball used to be, where it was just like up to the umpire. Now they have replays in baseball and everything too. But this is just it, it's class has always been from the start a gentleman's game, mm -hmm. as we've said, and a gentlewoman's game. Wow, that's and, so nice of you. Well, you know we. 
what was the comment you made earlier about co-lead host co-lead host yeah. but, 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 equal opportunity equal opportunity was the word that was used yeah we're at equal opportunities opportunities people Game. here at class and so uh yes so as i was saying uh, I forgot what I was saying. It's a gentleman's game. Oh, gentleman's, gentleman's game. game. Yeah. So we, so so so, you know, we leave it up to the refs to to make calls on their own discretion. We got Alex Zander Copen right now from Germany as our lead ref for the day, taking over this last match. He's got a fresh set of eyes, and so we leave everything in his hands. And there's our first loss. Loss of control. What do you know? Cheers. And that was Luigi. Mm -hmm. Cheers. <clears throat> yep. Tomek's on the board. Tomek is on the board, 2-1. Italy leading by one. Oh! 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 Just tied it up, 2-2. Two -two. That's, like that's like the equipment equivalent of you taking a basketball shot and LeBron James just stuffing it back in your face. That's very relevant. <laughs> oh! oh in and out. <laughs> Tomek said, get it. You just get out of your biscuit. I don't want nothing to do with you. We don't need that right now. Oh. But he has been playing a really good biscuit game. I mean, of the five biscuit points so far, two, four of them have gone to Tomek. Maybe well, only one of them. Oh! Oh! No, he's gonna pull ahead. I think he's mixing it up right now. Moving on from the biscuit play and just going right for the goals. Luigi's on the board. We can hear his brother Mario. Lost oh, control. Lost control. That's number two. That's number two, and that was Tomek on that one. Mm -hmm. As I was saying, Luigi on the board for Italy. We can hear this. Oh, that's another biscuit boy. You're looking good in your predictions with the biscuits. That one was Luigi. That you gotta you gotta feel that one if you're Tomek you had you had it and you it took two bounces in the goal before it left. Getting rid of that biscuit. Oh, but now Tomek has a biscuit to play with and oh, oh and he picked he it up. It. Luigi now and oh oh. oh and he has a Luigi with a two-point lead here. Again, remember, this is best of five, so even if this does go to the Italians, Poland still has a chance oh, to go 3 oh. What a shot. Calculated. What a shot. So this is not... This is not... Oh. See, I want to see him get this one because I, I like I said I really want to see a good buddy of mine make it to the end. Um, he's got it. He's got a bit. Oh, oh and biscuit, Luigi biscuit. puts it on him. That's another biscuit point. So that's the other thing. So in our predictions, you know, we made these really, so I was expecting these to at least go to a game four or a game five. I don't Same. know if you were, okay, so I didn't know if you were going mm -hmm. uh, off yours for a shorter game, but that would be if uh, Luigi were to take this game, then that would, uh, that would put it, that would be an early ending and, and our numbers would fall short. Which I, which honestly I think would be would be a surprise to a lot of our fans, yeah, because Agreed. I think that they would have expected a, more of a more of a, a four or a five game. I, I I still feel that is going to be the case. Ball's back on the table. Very high. nice. Oh! That's a sigh of relief. It, that first point is, is always tough, especially when you're down two games right now. It just feels good to get that first it's point. It's a morale boost. Yes, and and you know Luigi's probably in a little bit more of a comfortable spot, and understand we have being two Ooh. games up. So it's all on Tomek now to make to make the moves and be the aggressor because 
Luigi can just sit back a little bit more. But well, last time we said that, the, the breath of fresh air. The opposing team, are, oh, what a shot, always comes back. That's true, that's true. And I'm hoping and I'm hoping that Tomac here finds his groove and pushes this to a game four and even a game five. A game five, 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 for the, the, the five, the five, dream. five. That'd be the dream. I hope we see the dream. That would be, yes, that would be, especially for our first ever game of five. So we, we would see. make t-shirts about that. The, yeah, five, five, five. Off the board again. We should have kept stats on this one, too. Whoa! Whoa. Seen a couple of those today. Yeah, definitely. Ooh, getting aggressive with the biscuits again. Ooh, Ooh he's got two angels. Tomac now has one on him, and you know what? I don't think Rio. Oh, he Ooh. lost control! Oh! Tomac just narrowly missed picking advantage of that loss nice of control block. and sneaking one back behind him. Oh, off the table again. Off the, yeah, that one was weird. He, he hit it back and it went, I think it went, actually went in Tomac's goal and, and bounced out. out again. Yeah. But that's, that's a really hard, you need to hit that really hard in order to make it back off the backboard. <laughs> Then to Tomac's goal and out of the board. Nice block. There it is! Oh! 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 Let's, we, we can only hope. Oh, 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 oh so it was, it, it was, it was. It's four, four in the it's biscuits. Four, four in the biscuits. Um, both of them have a loss of control, but no one has clasped yet. It's it's also worth mentioning too that in the finals, if I, I if I unless I stand corrected, each of the players get up to a one minute timeout if they need it. I believe you're correct with that. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Nice and easy. I do love the encouragement from the audience. And then Tomek almost, he saw it, and then it popped out for just a second, and it wanted to go back in. That was incredible. If that doesn't wow, get what a swipe. Back, I don't know what does. Oh. Play of the game. Yeah, that was, that was an amazing play. Come on, Tomek! He like pointed at like, put a throw back at me? Was that a taunt? Oh, oh. Oh, off it's board. off. So much off the board this round. I, you biscuit. think he's gonna serve it towards that biscuit right off the bat? Nope. I was not expect. I was expecting oh. the serve to- Oh! Oh, oh damn! Oh, and it's just skated over. Oh, oh I thought that the I ball in the, the biscuit changed places. I thought they were one another. And that, wow. Oh, did you oh, see that? The oh! defense on the biscuit. My goodness, Tomek really is fighting for this last point. He needs to, he needs to answer a couple. He needs to have a couple unanswered points. Oh! oh!
boy, how is he feeling? Like, how did he think he went? Emotional, emotional. Uh, very emotional, very, very, yeah, emotional moment for him. Did he expect to get to this point? Absolutely not. No, absolutely not. <laughs> and did I hear earlier, this is not your clothing? Uh, yeah, it's a long story. <laughs> uh, he lost his bag in, uh, in a train. <laughs> so actually, this is not his team. But, uh, it, it's okay. <laughs> in another man's clothes. It's a fantastic story. Luigi, let's have a look at your trophy. Show it to the camera, show it to the people at home. There it is. Massive thanks to Class for organising, to our wonderful commentators for doing such a brilliant job of keeping us entertained, to our players, to our studio audience and to you at home for watching. Thanks very much and we'll hopefully see you very soon. Goodbye! Yeah.